Have you ever thought that on a beautiful day, an extremely suspicious countdown clock appears in your hand? What do you think it is? 55. Counting the hours, Khan Tran is ready to wait for it, because people like him without a family are not interested in living anymore. 39. After reporting to the police, his father, who only knew how to gamble all day, went to see his mother one last time, wrote a will, and sat on the bed waiting for the clock to count down to the last moment of his life. 50. But wait, waiting for you is not a death, but rather opening your eyes and traveling through time to an extremely strange place, the technical development there is far beyond understanding on this earth. 110. Not only Khan Tran but other people were also chosen to travel to that mysterious land, let's see how he survives in a new world. 30. One day it rained, a rain of clouds falling on the city, a rain where water drops fell while the rays of sunlight were still there, although the sky had dark clouds, there were still gaps for sunlight to penetrate. There are students walking with umbrellas and there is a shipper walking in this area. It was the fall of 2022, the shipper passed by a Chinese grocery store, there were two people setting up tables and chairs outside to play chess with enthusiasm, lighting up the table they were sitting on in the pouring rain. Deep, they play so hard that the chess pieces being lifted up and down continuously make clicking sounds, combined with the sound of falling rain which is very pleasing to the ear. Inside the grocery store there are many items from drinks to food. Food, CDs, chocolates, everything is there, but it seems the shop owner is busy playing chess outside the door. It turns out they were playing Chinese chess, a pawn was lifted and moved from its original position. And on this side, the opponent is a bald man, sweating profusely, trying to think of his next move with the chess piece in hand. And the person who just left turned out to be a young man with a good-looking appearance, slightly messy black hair and a neatly buttoned shirt, with just the movement of a pawn he checked his opponent. Fuang, he confidently laughed loudly. He stood up, left the chess board and went into the grocery store, but his uncle was still not convinced, I could still walk, I had only made 13 moves, but the young man waved his hand with pride. Your face is full, don't try to struggle. After carefully reviewing the situation on the chessboard, the uncle realized that he had no way to go, he was blocked and checked. His face was slightly frowned, he frowned and puffed his cheeks, but he also had to say oh come up and admit this. It was still raining heavily, pattering on the striped tarp hanging in front of the store, protecting the other two people from playing chess, but it seemed like it would stop soon because the dark clouds in the sky had partly dissipated, and the sky was clear. The reason why the other uncle puffed his mouth and rolled his cheeks because they lost was because they bet money when playing, every day they lost your money, the uncle started to put his arms behind the chair and grumbled, I just won 20 this morning. The bad thing is that the old man, the old man, now he's lost it all in your pocket, you've probably beaten me, right? At that time the young man was opening an old box of biscuits in his uncle's shop to get some coins. I just earned it from real talent. And it seems like my uncle also trusts you a lot. Over here, the young man told me his strategy for winning money. If it wasn't that they didn't want to play chess with me anymore, I wouldn't have to go through you to get money. I need dignity, I need money, very reasonable and fair. The uncle listened to what he said and snorted in frustration, but everything he taught these past two days was all useless, the uncle was still sitting at the chessboard, it turned out that when they played chess together, they not only played but also silently learned. Ask each other, understand the moves and playing strategies that the opponent often uses. However, the young man did not explain anything and said, don't talk about yourself like that, it made the uncle's face turn black, freeze, and questions filled his head. The uncle raised his hand to rearrange his pieces by moving them to their positions. Early Game Position the uncle wanted to play more and learn more even though he was a bit shy because he clearly had two hair colors but lost to a guy with black hair. Okay, okay, serve the table, the uncle said. Request, the young man over here also calmly replied. A moment of silence for him to calm down before going into battle, all the sounds and things around him were ignored at this time, he was closing his eyes and concentrating hard. The rain still hasn't stopped, and they continue a new game of chess with no signs of stopping, every leaf falling, every raindrop flying down and falling on the ground, the tarp above his head, now is the time for him to feel them. With your sharp intuition, separate each sound that a normal person would hear into a chaotic pile of noise. It seems like he is still listening very attentively, and perhaps this is the strength that helps him always win the chess games he plays with his uncle in the same area, which is the concentration of his mind on a certain phenomenon. So beneficial. And then the game of chess began quickly, the speed the uncle picked up the flag must have been several times faster than the moving speed of the passerby, and the two of them emitted the golden light of passion and love for the game. This subject. Each chess piece flashed brightly every time they moved, 
as if they were about to burn due to the speed of their friction with the chessboard, the young man made a move. The uncle also took the move and immediately moved to the next move. Their level had reached the level of thinking quickly and playing quickly, creating a classic blitz position in the chess world, playing quickly as soon as the opponent moved. The key pieces were lifted off the board, as if to gain momentum and rush to kick the opponent away. Now the radiance of the two of them's passion lingered on even the people passing by that grocery store. A little girl and an old woman standing nearby were the most stained with yellow, and it was also possible that these were not just the lights of passion, it was also possible that they were the aftertaste of the movement in the air that he felt. The young man was feeling it when he concentrated fully. A pair of white shoes with butterflies walking on the ground, each raindrop falling into a nearby puddle, each sound has its own color, the sound of water drops falling on the ground is different from the sound falling on the tip of the shoe. There and they are also different when water drops fall into a puddle, and depending on the size of the water drops, the sound becomes different. That's right, he was so focused that he got lost in layers and layers of his old memories, each movie scene came rushing back, forcing him to stand in front of the forest of giant filing cabinets, if those were all academic memories. What he had about Chinese chess was terrible. Where he was standing, right under his feet there was a circle like a clock displaying 11.30 minutes, and when he tried to press a tape into the bookshelf to save to recall the feelings just now and also to carefully restrain the flying tape that was about to get tangled up in his memories. However, when he put it in, it was very difficult, his body was on fire, holding his aching head as the tapes just fit in at the same time. He sighed when he was able to finish dealing with the mess inside. Head back to reality, the key piece is still in hand, he quietly explains to his uncle, the thirteenth move of the knight is in the sixth step of moving forward to throw the knight, this is the trump card to tear down the defense line, the other day I saw you play chess with the old man in the royal castle park, he likes to arrange artillery in the middle. His eyes turned serious and he looked at his uncle full of hope. If in a week he can learn the thirteen tricks you taught him, then playing chess with him will be no problem. He is very talented. When I was young, just passing by and glancing at their chess matches made me realize what a person's chess playing characteristics were like and what moves they could use to beat them. The uncle pointed at him, still holding the chess piece in his hand, making him a bit surprised. So my uncle has bigger ambitions, he can beat him in a week, how long will it take him to learn to beat his uncle? At this time, the young man waved his hand again and jokingly, making his uncle speechless. The fortune teller said he could live to be 78 years old, right? That was too late. The sky was getting dark due to the dark clouds blown by the wind gathering above their heads, only the light from the grocery store shining outside where the ice cream cabinet was still slightly illuminated, the uncle asked, at this time you should have been should I join a self-study class at night? Why did school end so early today? His eyes looked at his uncle, thinking about something but not answering yet, then he said, I'm waiting for someone. Then the uncle couldn't stand his curiosity anymore and asked, Khan Tran, you are such a good chess player, why don't you participate in the Chinese chess competition? Didn't you say you were short of money? Winning the championship means you have money. Yes, my uncle also wanted his nephew in the same area to open his eyes and so did he. However, Khan Tran did not want that very much, he just remembered those chess instructions in his head, that's all. No matter how good chess is, the ability to remember does not represent the ability to analyze. It's okay to play with the guys, but when you meet a master, your ignorance will immediately be revealed, that is not the path of nephew, playing chess is only temporary, it seems that Khan Tran knows very well about the world and understands himself very well. But the uncle still seemed skeptical, remembering everything in his head, I felt like before. This kind of thing that you can't forget at first glance is all a scam. At this moment, there were three shadows falling on the road in the rain. Looking at their feet, one could easily recognize that this was a family with parents and a son, and if not mistaken, they were walking towards the convenience store. Where the uncle and young Khan Tran sat. Right after that, the sky completely cooled down, the sun lifted the clouds again, shining down on the orange-yellow sunset, looking gentle and peaceful, and also making the remaining water drops on the canvas become sparkling and wonderfully beautiful. As expected, the three people walked over there, they were a family, the mother was wearing a long coat and her hair was also long, it was also the same color as Khan Tran's hair, could this be a family? Of him, she also carried a large gift box. And the curious boy had a different hair color, probably similar to his father standing in a hidden corner with only his shoulders visible, the boy quickly said, Mom quickly. Look, the rain has stopped, hearing the boy's voice, Khan Tran recognized him and turned around. Yes, it was the person he was waiting for, they were here, and his uncle also noticed a bit of a strange expression. 
There was often curiosity on his face, and the mother also raised her head to see more closely to see if it was her son. We readers are sure, with those brown eyes and hair color, there is no mistaking it, it is clear that they are mother and son, but for some reason they still haven't run towards each other, they still stand still and look at each other, no one takes a step forward, not even the little boy. The rainwater on the road is gradually going down the drain on both sides of the road, the space becomes peaceful again, this atmosphere is clearly not the atmosphere when a family gathers, but it is somewhat heavy. And just like that, Khan Tran moved his mouth to say something but what came out was a heavy sigh. He waited for them but didn't want to get close or say anything to them, one hand shook slightly. But he held it back with his other hand, what exactly was he holding back? His mother had the same expression as him, after all, what was the point of meeting each other without saying a word, and it seemed like it had been a long time since they had seen each other, or maybe simply looking at each other was enough, little boy. Seeing all the strange developments, he called out, Mom. Then the boy looked at Khan Tran. All three people looked at him, but he only paid attention to the baby. The mother saw the distance from them and called his name, Khan Tran. At this moment, he just smiled, his lips smiled but his eyes were heavy, as if they contained a lot of feelings but could not express them. Who is this young man and what is his life like? Then he immediately changed his face, he looked tired, exhausted and lifeless, he turned around and left, shocking his mother. As his back became farther away, casting shadows under the increasing streetlights in the sunset as if to signal that something was about to end, Khan Tran's mother also lifted her heels and approached the table he had just placed. Sat and played chess with the bowler, and had no intention of chasing him. Standing on the puddle containing the sky, she asked her uncle who was arranging the chess pieces neatly in the box, Truong Dai Jia, why did Khan Tran run to where he played chess again? The uncle was also not very friendly with Khan's mother. Tran. He just politely replied, your son and you asked me, he doesn't have money to live so he can only rely on playing chess to earn some money to buy food, the uncle thought he should also say out so that those who should be responsible become responsible. At this time, Khan Tran's mother asked again, but every month I give money to his father, besides, shouldn't he be in self-study class at this time, and the uncle also answered the same as when he asked Khan Tran just now. Oh it seemed like he said he was waiting for someone, seeing that the mother immediately said, no, I have to go home and see. Hearing that, the man accompanying her said, Yuyin Fuang, today is Hao Hao's birthday, we have already made a reservation, after eating, we will take the boy to the movies. Seeing his father say that, little boy also whining, mom, on this side, it's clear that Khan Tran's mother can't help but worry about his studying situation. Khan Tran is likely skipping school, I can't pay any attention to it, that man is pay more attention to your small family, care more about your little son and gently say, he is 17 years old, he can take care of himself, besides, doesn't he still have his father? It's okay to wait until Sunday to visit, let's stay with Hao Hao first today, Khan Tran's mother is also very awkward, but she doesn't want her family to fall apart again, she said okay. A key has been inserted into the lock, someone has come home, a rather shabby apartment complex, the walls and roof are peeling off, the electric lights are flickering, boxes and boxes are scattered all over the hallway, people as soon as he got home, he slammed the door. Was Khan Tran and where he was staying? The table was full of beer and alcohol, probably belonging to his father, the person Khan Tran's mother and her new husband had mentioned earlier. As soon as he got home he called someone. The phone rang steadily in the deserted house. He stepped and kicked a can of beer scattered on the floor. It turned out he was calling his father. He had just called his father but he was already cold and grumpy at him. For living expenses, go find your mother, I know money, now she has so much money. It turned out that his father was sitting here and there playing mahjong with a few other men who were smoking cigarettes. He said, I didn't ask for money, it's been a long time since I asked my father for money, so why are you calling, Mr. Dad didn't have much time to ask quickly. You have to go to a parent-teacher meeting again, looking for your mother, this kind of thing, you refuse every request of a father, you are so irresponsible that Khan Tran's tuition money sent by your mother is now lying on the table. Next to the ashtray right in this mahjong room, a cigarette full of smoke he still held in his hand without paying any attention to his son at home. Seeing his father being so indifferent towards him, he didn't want to tell him anything, so he pressed the red button on the screen and turned off the phone. In the cold, empty house, with belongings scattered all over the floor, he took a deep breath to regain his strength, his mind was shocked, he soon got used to it. Now the phone screen showed it was more than 6 o'clock, and he still had nothing to eat. And there was something even more surprising. On his arm was something that looked like a clock, a countdown timer of 5 hours 58 minutes 12 seconds, and the number 12 had just changed. He leaned against the edge of the table and laughed, 
Perhaps the battery in the house had run out of battery, but the clock showed 7 o'clock. Then he put on his coat and decided to go out. Maybe the sunset outside was warmer than this cold, empty house. He was no longer in the mood to worry about what was in his hand. No one knew. What is the final score of this countdown? He reached out to open the door, also thinking that that thing might be dangerous. He raised his head to look at this place, at this boring present, his eyes looked sad, he also had wishes for himself, he thought that the thing in his hand could also be a life. Another life. Once again, the house was empty and deserted, no one was there, no one cared for it to come alive, let it return to its true name, this time the house and the door were also the same. Slammed shut. In a busy, crowded market with many signs, that place is a place to import goods and an agricultural market. But the scene changed tonight, now it was completely dark, the clouds in the sky were not clear whether it was black or white, whether it was raining or not, the yellow street lights were doing their best, next to an apartment building. The lights are on and it's another building. Khan Tran walked into a room that looked simpler than his house, carrying two bags of things he had just returned from looking for, and in that room there were also many sundries, including several large bottles of water. On the desk next to the window is a medical box and a flashlight. The moonlight outside is quite bright, shining in through the large glass door. He crawled under the pillow, wanting to hide something. It seemed to him that the most dangerous place was the safest place. Then he breathed a sigh of relief. While he didn't know what he was about to face, he could only try to be a little more prepared. Maybe he had already thought of all sorts of things that would happen afterward. On the small table next to the bed, he placed a complete pile of tools such as wrenches, hammers, screwdrivers, and pliers. A strong wind blew outside the window, shaking the trees outside. The moonlight shines in and prints the shadow of a 17-year-old young man on the wall. His back is lonely but more mature. He is now sitting alone in the room, on the bed, and he has also written something on the table next to him. Healthcare box. Unable to help but worry, he clasped his hands together and rubbed his thumbs together, with uncertain eyes he thought, next, do I need to find help? Then he clenched his fist tighter, he thought about something, his hands started shaking again, but, you are also very miserable, who can you find? When you turned your back to leave, your mother also left without coming back, your father was so busy playing that you didn't want to think about it, two of your relatives had already died. I've abandoned you, who else can you ask for? Then he thought more, this strange and unreasonable thing, asking for help from normal people is probably of no use, he also doesn't have any extremely close friends in school, that's right. He rummaged around and pulled out a necklace with a picture of a gentle-looking green Buddha. Then he lay down on the bed, shined his phone on his face, relaxed in the last moments, the last work that needed to be prepared was finished. On his phone screen, in the WeChat app on top is his mother and below is Nam Ken then. He thought about his mother again, thought about her eyes when she looked at him, then thought about the familiar image of his father sitting and ignoring the family while playing mahjong, making his eyes expressionless and disgusted. He fell into that memory storage area again, his mother did no wrong even if she let go of his small hands at that time. Gambling, selling the house, the memories flowed back, images appeared clearly in his mind like a movie, domestic violence, adultery, all of them were so clear in his mind that he could never forget them. He looked closely at them, extremely angry, it was all his father's fault. At that time, it wasn't wrong for my mother to take the initiative to divorce. I should feel happy about her decision, because it was the right choice. It turns out you don't hate your mother, nor are you tired of leaving her, you just want her. No need to worry about yourself anymore, no need to find that unhappy family anymore. His hand tightly grasped the railing in that thinking area, remembering the times his mother cried and confided to the neighbor, his mother did not deserve this. Seeing that his mother was suffering enough, he didn't want to be a burden to her, so he chose to live with his father. He wandered in this corridor of memories, 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 perhaps sad or sad. Unhappy or happy or boring, they are all yellow, all are precious. And he affirmed that he knew this was the right choice. He was the one who let go of his mother's hand. He didn't want to stop her from moving to a brighter future. The countdown timer on his hand was still there but the camera on his phone when he brought it to him didn't show anything. Are you crazy? Are you having hallucinations? He was tired and put his hands on his eyes, haha, <laughs> maybe this is the last two and a half hours of my life, this life is mine. Just like that, you still haven't lived in a kind, happy family, you don't have a dream, yet you have to say goodbye to this world. The bicycle will roll quickly on the road, splashing water. Khan Tran has another plan, he is not willing, he drives the car down the street, he sees that there are many regrets in this life, there are also many things that he does not dare to do, but, tonight I don't want to be cowardly and scared anymore. 
I just need courage, he used all his strength to ride his bike as fast as possible, his hair flying in the wind, he rode his bike on the main road in the middle of the night. Then he turned right to a familiar place, lowered his foot as a kickstand, causing water to seep into his shoes. It didn't matter, he stopped in front of a building, the son knew where and what his father was but the father didn't care about anyone, looking through the window he could easily see his failed father. Knew immediately that he was here, and then he picked up the phone. Hello, hello police officer, he wanted him arrested so he couldn't bother his mother anymore when he might disappear, I want to report that someone is gathering to gamble in room 201, number 2, 17th floor, Long Dang subdivision. He breathed heavily, maybe it's quite cold tonight, okay we'll send the police right away, he waited for a while, there, just standing still. When he heard the police siren, he lifted up the pedal of the car and pedaled away. He pedaled in front of the police car, and it was raining again, without a shirt he cycled quickly home, his eyes were determined, he had no regrets for this father, he only hoped he would be detained. After a while, the police lights changed his hair and eyes to red and blue, looking very beautiful. He bit his lip tightly, perhaps he had tears falling, but crying in the rain felt great, no one would see his weakness under the thick raindrops, under the drops of water on his face, no one would see the warm water. Weakness flowed from the corner of his eyes. He rushed away, no longer attached or emotional, under the busy lights, the streets were quite deserted due to the rain, everyone was with their loved ones, all returned to the shelter called home to shelter from the rain. But he was riding his bike alone on the street. He also wanted to go home, he was home, the house had a carpet, but just to change clothes, he took off his coat and went inside to get his clothes. Tears kept falling, he didn't want it to end like that, today he was waiting for his mother, he saw his mother walking with her family, he also played chess, played with his neighbor, and he also went to see her. It's your dad, you've said goodbye to everyone, packed everything and went to the other room again, backpack, full items, and new clothes, you have 52 minutes and 30 seconds left. The will has also been written, placed neatly in an envelope on the table, he has 31 minutes and 49 seconds left, time is running so fast right now. Already slinging his bag on his shoulder, in case he was teleported somewhere strange, he sat on the bed, he had 1 minute and 14 seconds left. 10. The uncle is still worried about the small but cozy shop. 9. Your father has been taken away by the police. 8. 7. The room he sat in was unusually quiet, he clasped his hands together. 6. A pink-haired girl standing by the window, not sure who else. 5. 4. He took a deep breath in, the last bit of air. His father, too, and mother are smiling, happy under a new home, standing in a cozy, well-lit house full of parents and children, they watch the rain fall and are happy. 1. His eyes were steady, ready to wait for what was about to happen. A blue number appeared, that's when his heart pounded, the scene became strange, dark, the space was only blue and black. All clocks changed to zero or zero time. His eyes widened, it turned out he already had a knife in his hand. This is, what kind of feeling is this, he has never experienced it before, he can't control it, just let it happen. Then everything around him seemed to shatter, the window glass had already broken, pouring into the room, surrounding him who was sitting numbly on the bed inexplicably, he couldn't close his eyes, just opened them wide and observed, a square code appears with the number 010101, it turns out it's not around him but inside him, the memories, the memories are shattering like glass. The last images in this room cracked and fell, so thin and fragile, images of loved ones were about to be shattered, nothing could be retained even though that golden flow still lingered around, fragments of memories, golden streams, they wrapped around him, taking him somewhere, this place was, his eyes were confusing and filled with curiosity. They kept wrapping around him into a tornado, he put his hand in front of his face as he was about to enter the new world. A room with a design quite strange compared to the normal world, there are also green and yellow lead lights on the floor and on the walls, the main color of the room is gray, a table next to the bed where Khan Tran lying down, the cup and toothbrush had fallen to the floor, his shoes were also placed next to the bed, the outfit he was wearing was navy blue, a white striped shirt, it looked like a uniform. He opened his eyes, his face was lit by a bright light, now his face looked brighter, much more alive, wondering if all the memories in him were still there. He stood up immediately. He raised his hand and lifted his sleeve. It turned out that the memory in him was still there. It was just that space and time were broken. The thing he was holding was a knife used to cut bones. Fish, no more, neither backpack nor clothes, nothing left with him. You still have the watch on your hand, 48 hours, which means two days, a new timeline with a new space, no idea where you are. He started to move constantly, wanting to check his body, and he also didn't want to step down into this new world, still sitting on the bed. He spread his hands and looked closely, this was his body, because after all, 
fingerprints and the location of pores could not be faked, but these clothes, I had crossed over, so that was the end of the count. Going back in time means returning to reality, he sighed again. Even though there might not be anyone there who misses me, I still want to go back and see. It would still be a good thing to be able to return. At this moment, he glanced around and looked around, this world immediately displayed everything, above the ceiling was a hidden light, in front of him was an alloy door frame with glass panels, next to it was a metal wall, on the ground are shoes, cups, toothbrushes, personal items that everyone needs. Plus there was a shelf, he washed his face and towels stored underneath that stone shelf, touched the glossy wall to feel, he thought, where could he use this uncountable material? After calculating the price like this, there was a sound that startled him. He immediately picked up the brush on the floor as a weapon. Then he went to stand in front of the door, and underneath the stoneware compartment there was another set of clothes. That sound continued to echo around him. All the strange things around him made him take extreme precautions with furrowed eyebrows, ready to defend at any time when something appeared. But no one appeared, the door opened, opened so hard that a puff of smoke appeared, and outside, everything was brighter than in this room. And that made him a little dazzled and overwhelmed. A sound rang out, exactly at 7 o'clock in the morning, breakfast time, inviting all the prisoners to line up one by one to go to the cafeteria to eat. He was so shocked that he dropped the toothbrush in his hand. Why did you become a prisoner here? He gathered all his courage after more or less formulating something. Then he decided to take a step outside, there were many floors, cells like his filled the whole area, in the middle was a very large virtual screen, there was a white-haired lady appearing and broadcasting information. Newspaper. At this moment, appearing in the hallway was a line of people of all shapes and genders, some were normal, some had devices and machines on them, some looked kind, some looked evil and despicable. I'm afraid, there are also guys with huge sizes, much bigger than normal people. He was looking up and down to observe and felt quite uneasy. Then he stood in the hallway and looked over the entire area. The big screen kept repeating the announcement, exactly 7 o'clock in the morning, breakfast time, inviting all prisoners to line up one by one. Going to the restaurant to have a meal, it seems that the hours here are arranged in quite detail. A person with long white hair appeared in the large hall on the first floor. The announcement sound did not stop, inviting all prisoners to line up to go to the cafeteria to eat. The sound of loud footsteps echoed throughout the area from all directions. The group of people moving down was really crowded. They had to be very careful because with just one mistake, there would be jostling, jostling, and then a trampling accident, and then a man. Uncle with silver hair, and one strange red eye, walked past him. Seeing him staring at him, his uncle looked back with even fiercer eyes. And that scared him a bit when he looked straight into that red eye, and was also looked back by that eye. And the uncle also walked away without saying a word to him, are you thinking about mutants, is it the machine age when someone calls from behind, hey, there's a newcomer there. And immediately he placed his steely hands on the wall behind him. He stood close to him with a strange smile, with his juniors behind him, he threatened, don't eat too much in the morning or you'll vomit and it will be very unsightly, haha. <laughs> he felt uncomfortable with his ungrateful actions, and also a bit worried about this very sturdy looking arm. After finishing work, he and his subordinates left, and added together, I heard that there were 12 new guys arriving last night, today we can really have fun, this guy doesn't have any mechanical parts on him. I don't think it has anything to do with the outside. Hearing that, he immediately fell into a pile of inferences, are they new people, do they know that they came here? No, they probably meant that they had just entered prison, the other person did not know his identity. I, there's something fun they just said, but I'm afraid it's actually quite troublesome. While thinking, there was a shrill scream from the other side of the building, A-A-A-A what is this place, making him pay attention. A young man was running away in the hallway, shouting loudly, I want to go home, I don't want to be in this hellish place. He ran away without paying attention to his surroundings. The people in the hallway saw that and just stood and laughed. Khan Tran immediately realized, isn't this person a year younger than him at Lak Tan Foreign Language School? It seems that he is not the first, probably not the last, is it possible that his position were they close to each other before the time travel, will they be very close to each other after the time travel? No, we can't say for sure. Below, a drone was coming in, not one but many flying over their heads and broadcasting announcements, please stop, warning again, please stop, Khan Tran couldn't help it. Curious, he peered out. On a table, next to a Chinese chess board, it turns out that there is also Chinese chess here, a chubby cat with white fur, the hair just now turned out to be this cat's fur, it was yawning and looking at same refreshment. The cat has green and blue eyes, it is looking at those drones, a new notification appears again, all the prisoners stand in place waiting for orders. 
Immediately, the robots with full equipment and two quick legs ran loudly inside. This whole area has the same structure. Below the first floor of the large hall are many rows of dining tables arranged evenly. The robots enter from one side but it is unclear how they entered this area. Right after that, Contran's junior friend was surrounded. The robots targeting laser beams shone on him, causing him to panic even more and scream loudly. Contran then thought to himself, meeting his hometown in a foreign land will indeed give people a sense of security, but it also depends on the person, but this guy is a bit of a nuisance. Contran did not deny it but concluded from what he had just witnessed that his compatriots might not be able to help him, but on the contrary, they could become a burden. It was best for him to take care of himself and avoid his younger brother. The same school is good. There were whispers around him again, there seem to be a lot of dirty guys here who like to bully the weak and newcomers, this newcomer is interesting, I'm afraid I'm an idiot, I I heard it was because of tax evasion that he was sentenced to seven years in prison. Last night when he was brought here, he didn't cry, but only now did he cry. They added and seemed to deliberately want to touch him, who was standing near them and listening, they said, in this day and age, if someone dares to provoke the tax collection agency, then he is not an idiot. And he tried to ignore them, looking away. Yet they actually touched him, and even put their arms around his shoulders and said, Hey new ghost, are you mentally ready? This time he dodged them harder, lowered his head to the ground, determined not to make eye contact with these guys. And didn't say a word at all. He doesn't even know what he's feeling right now, what to think about, how to deal with it, how to fight it, or just let it be. The stream of people filled the stairs and some people went down to the first floor lobby. They all went to get their trays and sat at the table. Next to the dining tables, there were two rows of huge bookcases filled with books of unknown origin. He glanced down and noticed a difference. There was a table with only one person sitting, and there were two people standing next to it, and all the surrounding tables were empty. He saw number four, maybe he was taking a closer look at the overall area. And very smart he immediately realized something, wait. Why does it feel like everyone is deliberately avoiding that table, and it's true that no one sits at the tables with a radius of one or two tables around where the man in white is sitting. Maybe, he looked closer down. A long-standing man is holding a Chinese chess piece in his hand and fondling it. He has red eyes, and the cat that belonged to him is lying under his palm, next to the chess board, he seems to be thinking about his moves, how to play something. Seeing him just staring, motionless at the bottom, the other guy was a bit puzzled, it turned out he looked very stupid, only showing a fierce face to scare stupid people. There are some ungrateful guys talking loudly all over the area, let's go, this new ghost is really an idiot, try your best to be a new ghost, he he he, big brother, please give me a few days to relax, what date do you want to date today, ha ha ha, hey what did you hear? It's just the last time, hey keep your voice down, don't you want to live anymore, huh, what are you afraid of, then when you realize the presence of the man when you see them, they lower their voices, turn off the sound completely, and their noise is really annoying. Many people who want to sit and eat quietly don't like them at all. Contran took in all the images that had just happened. He speculated again, could this be a prison guard? That's not right, although the other person was wearing a training outfit that was different from other prisoners, the outfit still had a small black prison number embroidered on it. He glanced sharply from above. This middle-aged man was also one of the prisoners in prison, but he was the most special. At this moment, one of the two boys standing behind the man had a feeling that he was being watched, a look was glued to this area. He raised his eyes and looked right at Contran standing high, also giving a half-smile, and his eyes were not fully open, he had platinum hair that looked quite attractive. Contran was not afraid at all, just a little confused and still not clear about everything. It's still a deafening announcement, lining up to go to the restaurant to eat, lining up to go to the restaurant to eat. Finally, he joined the line of people going down to the first floor lobby to have breakfast, there was still a guy looking at him, and there were loud voices, TSK, why is this team so slow, hey, collectibles are so slow. What did you say before? So we have to see how the new arrivals are this time, he he he, Contran is straining his ears to eavesdrop to see what they say, they also see people as a commodity. When he stepped on the bridge, he saw more clearly, up and down seven floors, the ceiling had a total of 18 drones, including 10 surveillance cameras and 3 robots carrying guns, including myself there was a total of 3,012 people. At this moment, there was a scream in front of him asking for help, making him immediately curious, ah uh, let me go. A young boy with blue hair and blue eyes was dragged away mercilessly by two men with iron hands. He was frightened and cried, begging you guys to let me go, at this time those guys said, quickly drag it into the cell, don't hurt it in the square, be careful the Dementor robot will get involved, don't worry, I'm not stupid like Duong Kiet. At this moment, he still turned his head to observe and received a warning, 
stop looking back and forth, soon it will be your turn, soon they will line up to get food. He looked at his uncle who said those words but his eyes did not waver, either he was not afraid, or he did not know how scary they were. Unfortunately, because of a little carelessness, he bumped into a guy who looked bloody, and that guy looked at him with unsympathetic eyes and so did he. There were shouts again, this meat is for people to eat, please give me a break ha, huh? while he was carrying the tray of food into the table and chair area. Clearly, many eyes were focused on newcomers like him. As expected, several guys waved to each other to approach and attack him. Realizing this, he made a plan of action, and it seemed like he was one, not afraid of anything, he had an idea of what to do from the beginning when they attacked. At this time they were surrounding him, one was standing right in front of him, turning his shoulders to attack, but he did not flinch, in the old world he was not an easy person to be bullied, he was strong and be able to take care of yourself. Getting everything ready, his face darkened. He rushed forward, towards the direction he wanted to go, and of course they were also experts in chasing and following him. A large man stood in front of him and raised his iron hand in the air to grab him with a very happy face. It seemed they were also having fun with this cat and mouse game. However, he was more flexible and escaped to the bottom lane with a long slide, causing bananas and food in the tray to fly everywhere. But by inertia they still landed on the rice tray and he held the banana in his mouth, a perfect calculation. He jumped up, used every means to avoid it, used all his strength to run towards the direction he intended, and clearly that was the side where the man in white was sitting. Someone shouted loudly, while the guards had not yet discovered it, quickly capture it. Perhaps the guards they mentioned were robots ready to activate at any time when someone intended to run away, but that was not the case. Yes you, you don't run away, you just try to avoid danger. And when they realized where he was running to, these gangsters were extremely frightened. They quickly knew their fate and stopped, blocking each other in time before entering that empty radius, but he still kept running to the place where he stopped. At this time, they also turned around and laughed scornfully at him, this is the direction, this guy thinks he's smart, does he want to rely on that person, I'm afraid he's thinking too much, he he he, just wait and see the excitement. Why manage so much? He didn't care what they said, he just ran because he had his own plan. We're almost there, there's a table with a man in a white shirt, a cat and a Chinese chessboard in progress, with two guys behind him like guards. Then, as quickly as it happened, one of the two men came forward and raised his hand to block him, it was the white-haired man who saw him when he looked at them from above. He wears a rubber band on his wrist, smiles kindly but his words are not kind, new ghost, I know what you are thinking. The man here doesn't care much about worldly affairs, he only focuses all his thoughts on his chessboard. The blonde boy said, but we won't help you, and that made the people around him laugh. Then they started to mock and become more inspired by the new rat, you're such a bad boy, ha ha ha, who do you think that big guy is? On this side, he could see more clearly the chessboard displayed in front of the man in white, realizing that it was an unfinished match. He quickly said, one soldier moves forward, he really knows how to approach and knows how to play chess. Despite the looks of the people behind him, he confidently said, I can destroy this mess, and that of course made the people around him extremely confused, but fortunately when he came to this world he still signed I was sad and thought that he only needed to escape the two hours I was here and that would be enough. Seeing Khan Tran say that, the blonde boy was equally surprised, only then did he stop blocking him and turn back to his original position. The man placed his hand on the piece and moved to counterattack him, pushing a piece straight off the table, the bishop of five moved seven, continue. Is it real or fake? Perhaps all of them have never witnessed this before, even the silver-haired boy must be wondering and surprised. Returning to his original state when playing chess, he found himself strangely comfortable. He didn't expect that he could do what he liked in this place. This end game is called the Western King, the red and black sides look like they are equal, but in reality, only one more move is needed for the black piece to win. It seems he has played a game like this in the past. Past, and the red side was exhausted, if he didn't pay attention he would be killed, but the difficult thing for him was that he was now holding the red piece, not the black piece like before. Memories kept coming back, every image of the chessboard, every move, every position was clearly clear in his mind. According to the instruction book, it was a red flag, I just needed to keep the draw to be able to solve it. This ending situation, however, keeping the piece, does not exist, he is much more aggressive, because before he did not lose, he cannot lose now. Thinking carefully, he marched out, two soldiers equaled three, the man also had to think back and forth. Chess six forward one, rear rook four forward, again a blitz chess position, this chess position can easily push the opponent into confusion leading to loss, but for him, someone who has played a lot is determined not to admit defeat. One back nine, the chess game took place in everyone's surprise, everyone was shocked, 
the newcomer approached the great man who no one had approached within a radius of a few meters. As soon as he started his army, he walked towards the chessboard, his cart was four square. General four squared five, artillery four squared five, vehicle three squared five, he was only one step away, now the other person was more nervous than ever, still waiting for the outcome. Suddenly the air became cold, everyone was silent when the man in white was also silent, his face darkened when he saw that the situation on his side was gradually becoming unfavorable under this young man's attacks. The last move is one five moves one. And check, his eyes were as confident as when he played with his neighbor Truong Dai John, and this man's face was already as black as the bottom of a pot. I didn't expect to be defeated when I was initially in a very favorable position. You can clearly win by easily defeating this kid. Having to knock the chess piece away, he accepted defeat. As for him, his face was blank at this time. In his old world, many people knew how to play chess, and played better, the new man thought. He was not old, but when he threw away the flag to change the situation, he did not hesitate. This is truly an old man. This uncle also had the same eye color as the silver-haired boy at this time. He stood up and said, interesting, in this era, there are not many people who know how to play chess anymore. Continue tomorrow. After saying that, the man stood up and turned away, the two young men standing next to him also turned away, and the cat also stretched its legs and got down from the table, and the people who were watching just now were also whispering, so how could that great man lose, that's impossible, what's the situation? The stir hasn't stopped yet, since in this era, if you don't have to use a chip to achieve pleasure, then you also use your consciousness to log into fantasy websites, who even knows about this toy, okay? Do you understand anything? They were all surprised that he knew how to play Chinese chess. And perhaps this sport has been lost a lot in this era, and the silver-haired boy stopped and put his hand on his chest. Let me introduce you, great, my name is Lam Tiu Tiu, that big guy is Deep Van, see you tomorrow. After executing the plan he was quite confident, and of course if any of them touched him, causing him to be injured and unable to continue playing chess tomorrow, they would have touched him. Sir, there is a camera behind you and you believe that you will be safe. He left and now they have kept their distance from him, no one dares to do anything to him anymore, Besides, the camera also keeps aiming at him and following him, as if the person behind the camera wants to follow him. That person even zoomed in on the camera screen out of curiosity about you, after all you are so special. Then something touched him, causing him to turn around and act quickly. With a sound of falling down, at this time there was a person with purple hair who was also crying and whining like the blue hair from before, still holding a tray of rice, who had long been lying at his feet begging, help me, we all I'm new here, please help me, from now on I will listen to everything you say. Then his eye color seemed to change, becoming orange and glancing down at that guy, making him feel guilty and panicked, biting his lip, maybe he chose to protect himself first, so he turned cold. Refusing that guy is just a crime of being stupid and not being able to protect yourself. Then, a large hand grabbed his head. The other two guys came and dragged him away, one guy even raised his hand to say, sorry, I'm bothering you, he just kept talking non-stop, hey, I'm the manager of Truong Company. Min belongs to city number 17, and other than the five big companies, the other companies are not worth mentioning, let alone you, even if you enter this blockhouse prison, you must be obedient, really. He also had no intention of begging them to spare his life. Witnessing that scene, he just stood still and let them act, what else could he do? He began to calculate without losing any moment of attention to this dimension. Including this person, out of the twelve new prisoners including himself, nine people had already been dragged away by them, out of ten. These two people, only me and that depressed teenager are earthlings. It seems that there are not many people who have come here. Even if there are thousands, tens of thousands of people, compared to the total number, it is probably only a very small percentage. It's small, right? I don't know why. Although I've clearly become a prisoner, I don't feel depressed at all. On the contrary, I look forward to it. You close your eyes and enjoy this dimension. You will continue to survive here. He began to remember the days when in the old world, on earth, it seemed like he was a redundant person, his father criticized him for being troublesome, his mother had a new family, relatives also came and went less, he had to having spent two Tet holidays alone. It turns out that it is a feeling of loneliness that he is sure of, when he is here, in a place full of people like this, he will no longer feel lonely, when it is New Year's Eve, the day when it's tradition for the whole family to gather together and the sound of fireworks fills the sky. But he just sits alone sipping noodles and watching TV. He raised his hand again, this is only what he saw. If it weren't for this countdown, would probably rely on my memory ability to get into a very good but also very bad university in the future. 
away, then leave that house forever. But he himself still thinks, but what is the meaning of such a life? He looks extremely miserable, in the end, what kind of life is meaningful? Remembering the long days of only eating noodles in bored loneliness, he thought that this world was not like that. To him, it seemed like a complete liberation from the past. Looking up at the ceiling, he also understood his own mood quite well. This world made him begin to look forward to having a completely different life in this place. And there was another big guy standing behind him, talking very strangely, he finally came in here. He leaned closer to him, looked straight at his face, then smiled and said that he was indeed as beautiful as rumored, making him freeze and not have time to react. Although he was quite shy and enjoyed the compliment, he absolutely had to keep his distance from anything new, and that action made the other guy a little confused. He raised his hand and introduced himself, formally introducing himself a bit, my name is Lo Kuang Nia, three months ago Khan Gan brought me here, you can call me Tu Lo, he has one hand as a machine. And both eyes are also machines. Khan Tran was still on guard without reaching out to shake his hand. He just greeted him simply. Listening to his tone, he knew him and even used honorifics. And in addition to his excellent memory ability, he is also very diligent in observing his surroundings. In the last hour, the other person looked at him 21 times, moreover, this is just the number that I pay attention to, the people around him. He's probably a subordinate he recruited after coming here. In his opinion, I entered this bunker prison with other intentions, and since you have no memories of this body, you are still speculating hard. He concluded his opinion, if he talked too much, he would be exposed, first keep a distance from him, thinking all this time without paying attention to his surroundings, Lo Kuang Nia behind him kept waving. They are now standing in a more private place, and Khan Tran said, for now I don't need your help, I can do anything myself, no no no, I have to serve you. That's good, he just kept waving his hand and not agreeing with your proposal. Khan Tran said at this point, everyone's status is the same, no one is better than anyone else, he doesn't need to use words like serving, but suddenly Lo Kuang Nia turned into a pink puppy. Around me, the flowers and leaves show that it's an interest, not a compulsion, don't don't, you can just order me, you can just think of me as your dog, that's the thing about licking my feet. Khan Tran asked helplessly, so what if my feet stink, but Lo Kuang Nia tilted his head in respect, still with that amused expression, and said, then I will lick the stink away. Hearing that, Khan Tran was completely exhausted, and even more alienated. He absolutely could not rely on this name of unknown origin, and this was the second time he fed him butter. He nudged his shoulder and praised him. This morning I was thinking, why didn't you come find me right away, but I didn't expect that you would use your status as a new bee to approach Uncle Lai, what a genius. Looking more closely at his face, it turned out that he also had two fangs. How could he easily turn into a dog? This dog began to explain, in this prison blockhouse number 18, if we had the help of Lai Tuk Dong, our plan will be even more favorable. He immediately remembered, Lai Tuk Dong must have been the chess player earlier, but what was the plan? Can you explain it a bit more clearly? But you also have to be a little careful with Lai Tuk Dong, living with this type of person is like telling a tiger to shed its skin. If we don't do it well, we will fall into a passive position, the dog also reminded Khan Tran. After hearing this, his face darkened and his hair became messy. With his noble status and this plan, it was quite difficult for him. He just wanted to save his life. So focusing on the main thing again, the puppy scratched his head and asked, Sorry, I said too much, so what instructions did you bring this time? He thought for a while, even putting his hand on his chin to show off, but couldn't think of anything. I don't know what you're thinking, but saying that the llama came from the south made the dog ask even more questions than before. The scene changes to Lai Tuk Dong's place, they have their own base here, there are also surveillance cameras, it seems they are sitting at a table or something while Deep Van prefers to stand, in their place there are also there are many more books, documents, tapes, and discs that I don't know, neatly arranged and filled to the brim on the shelves. Silver-haired Lam Tiu Tiu was sitting upstairs, spinning his pen. His body was also healthy, there was no machine anywhere. He looked at Lai Tuk Dong, then smiled brightly and said, Boss, that teenager didn't help the other new ghosts. Lai Tuk Dong was watching his iPad and also listened a little to what Lam Tiu Tiu said about the person who had defeated him in the game of Chinese chess. Just thanks to his way of playing chess, he also partly shapes his personality. When he plays chess very decisively, not only that, but he can also sacrifice everything to find a way to live, let alone with other people, seen from the perspective hey, we can see more clearly that this is not a small room, there are many other tables and chairs that look much better. Mr. Lai Tiu Tiu was a little dissatisfied, playing chess is playing chess, telling me to throw away a certain piece and I would dare, 
So tomorrow boss are you still going to play chess with him, yes, not with you. Shouldn't I be playing chess with someone as stupid as you two? Only now can we clearly see the tall guy accompanying these two people as he bends down to listen to information from Lai Tuk Dong, that's right, Tran T group has captured that guy Quach Ho Tien, the judge process has also been completed. He pointed at a bald guy on the tablet screen and shaped his beard exactly like the name with the word tiger. He will probably be handed over to prison number 18 in a few days. At that time, you will go exchange. With him, this Lai Tuk Dong is very powerful as he can know who will come here and when. It seems that the three of them on this side also came here with a great purpose. Deep Van said, she had interacted with him once before, although this person is not easy to live with, but at least they can communicate. And of course this statement also made Lai Tuk Dong think more or less. Suddenly Lai Tuk Dong also remembered something, Tiu Tiu, about the teenager's breakdown this morning, what do you think? I observed for a long time, I felt like something was wrong, they were also very curious about the boy. That's it. Maybe he also transmigrated like Khan Tran so they also found his words and actions strange. Tiu Tiu said, at first glance, it seemed like the teenager was talking nonsense after his breakdown, but when talking about Lak Tan and Vin Loy group, his tone was extremely firm, as if something was really going on. That's it, at this point, it's clear that this junior friend of Khan Tran's has traveled through time, and of course these people can't understand. Tiu Tiu added that his identity has been investigated. On the outside, he is just a leisurely employee, just dropped out of high school in normal society, trading prosthetic mechanical limbs with the Hawk Ho organization in the city. Street number 18. Suspected that he was involved in the illegal robbery of prosthetic limbs but had no evidence, so he was finally sent here on charges of tax evasion. Tiu Teet rubbed his nose as he said, the things he went through. In the past, everything could be investigated, but Lak Tan and the Vin Loy group or whatever he said could not be heard at all. In addition, the boss's chess game just finished, I haven't had time to investigate yet, before the afternoon I will send an answer to the boss, perhaps Tiu Tiu is talking about Khan Tran and will investigate himself. Your destiny in this world. Yes, my boss is paying attention, with the name Kid, while thinking about you, Tiu Tiu noticed something. That kid who played chess, is he here too, so the place they sat in wasn't some secret room but simply behind the bookcases, in a private place with fewer people going in. Khan Tran walked over and pulled a device off the shelf. When opened, the screen displays a notification box requiring you to log in. Tiu Tiu was very friendly in approach to ask, this is your first time in prison, right? If you want to use the reader, you must first use the number on your uniform to register an account. After you log in, it will appear. Displays your recent reading diary, has bookmarks, has your own reading habit settings, font size, its hardware also has an artificial intelligence language, you name it and it will help you find things. See the content you want to read. After pressing the button, registration is complete. Khan Tran turned to ask Tiu Tiu, where can he see the latest news, causing Tiu Tiu to coldly reply, stop dreaming, your reader account does not have the right to connect to the internet, not even me. But our boss does. Khan Tran immediately glanced at Lai Tuk Dong who was also sitting there holding a book. It seemed that Lai Tuk Dong's status in this prison was indeed superior to others. Khan Tran said thank you and immediately left, leaving Tiu Tiu behind. He quickly sat down on the chair, opened it and read the first pages, and when Tiu Tiu walked past him, leisurely placing his hand behind his head as he spoke, he slowly watched. Suddenly, Tiu Tiu's footsteps faltered and he couldn't continue. His eyes observed something, he immediately turned around but was also a bit shocked. It's Khan Tran, he's using his two best abilities to read electronic books, his hands are scrolling non-stop, his eyes don't blink once, the words keep flowing from beginning to end continuously and as fast as a bird. The river flows fast. Seeing what happened, Tiu Tiu immediately went back to report, boss, that kid is no good. He whispered to his boss and pointed at Khan Tran, he just wanted to come here to get a chance to live with his boss. Khan Tran's fingers are still nimble, as clear as day. This is the ability he possessed in the other world, quick to absorb and remember well. When I saw that kid just now, Tiu Tiu kept talking and was a bit displeased when he appeared here. That kid didn't read seriously at all, Tiu Tiu thought so but he was also a bit disdainful, when he didn't know anything about him yet he was so sure and thought bad of him. Just sitting on the screen randomly, that was Tiu Tiu's opinion, and he was clearly reading attentively, every single thing was selected in his eyes, in his mind. Tiu Tiu's boss seemed calmer and a bit impressed with Khan Tran. He believed in his own beliefs and said don't do unnecessary things, and don't underestimate other people's desire to survive. And of course, Lai Tuk Dong still knows that his people are better. 
If it were you, I'm afraid you would be much more urgent than him. You have to learn to put yourself in other people's shoes to think. The boss clearly understands everyone's abilities and just wants his people to be more agile in understanding the other person, so he gives advice. Three hours have passed in the reading area, no other prisoners have come here, a smart book has been put on the shelf. It turned out that Lai Tuk Dong's group had left. He had finished dealing with things here and had the necessary new information. When they passed by Khan Tran, the blonde boy glanced over with a bored expression because of what happened earlier. Now he still sits in that position and reads. Lai Tuk Dong took a step past him, but he didn't care at all, he still browsed the book and read attentively, he didn't even know he was tired or had eye pain. The cat at Lai Tuk Dong's feet was also always close to him, walking past him but not paying any attention to him. Both sides did their own thing. But out of curiosity, Lai Tuk Dong turned around and asked, what was the content of the third row on the previous page? At this time, Khan Tran was surfing the book, reading the book, memorizing the content, and answering Lai Tuk Dong. When order becomes chaos, then it is impossible not to use chaos to maintain order and save the Dharma. The law. The two people behind were also a bit surprised at this new person's ability, remembering every word very confidently, and moreover, still able to continue their work when answering questions. Even though the blonde boy was also impressed with the previous chess game when Khan Tran won, this time he was clearly not convinced, still thinking, how can he answer, probably just talking nonsense, and when it became difficult to understand opening his mouth, he also revealed a rather skillful looking Fong. Seeing that, Deep Van came closer and borrowed Khan Tran's book. For normal people, when concentrating so intensely, their brain would freeze before the sudden change, but Khan Tran did not, as if this were a normal thing. As for you, you also lent it to Deep Van and said, hurry up. Deep Van is also not average, when Khan Tran browsed the book like that, when coming from afar, he could also glance at which page he was stopping on and which page was the previous page that his boss mentioned, he also read it quickly and confirm, boss, it's all right, even the person who just witnessed and confirmed it also shed a few drops of sweat, and Tiu Tiu behind him stood up, he couldn't believe his ears. Say what? At this moment, Khan Tran bumped into something under their feet. It turned out to be a cat's eyes. What exactly is this cat? Is it a normal animal that only follows its owner? Its eyes glowed and looked at him, making him sweat a little. Lai Tuk Dong smiled, he seemed very satisfied with his chess opponent, he left with a bright smile on his face, it was even more interesting, let's go, it's time to eat, and Tiu Tiu was a bit irritated and jealous of Khan Tran but still kept his eyes on him as he left. And everything went according to Khan Tran's plan. Although revealing one's talent is very risky, it is the best path. Because if you want to survive in this prison like a steel beast, you will have to prove yourself as a useful person to the strongest here, not just memorizing and observing, it is clear that Khan Tran has he has the ability to speculate and calculate better than others. He also knows how to stay calm and not panic in new environments. He also has his own plan and anticipates situations that will arise. Scene change, meal time comes again but it seems like only Lai Tuk Dong is sitting and eating and Deep Van is standing next to him, it seems like his meal is very sumptuous. A familiar hand wearing a rubber band appeared and pulled the chair, Lai Tuk Dong also looked. And another familiar movement, he took off his shoes, sat very naturally, put his legs on the chair and crossed one knee high. Tiu Tiu clasped his hands behind his head and cheerfully told me to go home. Here it is. It seems that Deep Van complained about his friend's sitting posture and unattractive habits, causing Tiu to tell his boss not to say anything. Don't be so bossy, Mother Deep. Now Lai Tuk Dong spoke up, he also said quite cheerfully, it seems like there has been a bit of a harvest, right? Hearing that, Tiu Tiu grinned even more and told about his achievements, he was very successful, this chess player was extremely clean on the outside, something important had to be repeated a second time, extremely clean. I won't be able to investigate any unusual clues, but that makes me even more interested. Documents show that he is a high school student in city number 18, both of his parents died in an accident, he inherited a lot of property, he has no criminal record, no history, no relatives, on the records show that he stole a liquid crystal phone that was enough to get a heavy sentence. Boss also knows that half of this prison number 18 are prisoners with heavy sentences, usually they have accumulated criminal records or are he was caught by the tax authorities and locked up here. A criminal thief like him should not appear here at all. His time in prison was only six months. I'm afraid this is the time. The shortest prison stay in the history of prison number 18. At this time, Tiu Tiu snapped his fingers and added his inference through the information he had just found. 
He also had to wonder how this blonde guy investigated to come up with so much information. The boss did not feel that is there a problem? I'll find someone outside to ask. At this time, Tiu Tiu frowned slightly, this case of his is still in dispute, I heard that he claimed to have bought a liquid crystal phone as usual, the money has been paid, but I don't know why the money is not in the account. The phone seller's account and the surveillance camera were also suddenly broken. There was no way to prove his innocence, so once the phone salesperson betrayed him, he testified or videotaped him. If he has paid to appear, he can immediately get out of here, boss, there are many familiar tricks like that, most people who go to prison to solve business problems use this trick. Speaking of this, Tiu Tiu also had to sweat and grimace, it seems this world is not easy, always making people sweat about new dangers and forces, importantly, he also surname. Seeing Tiu Tiu's expression like that, Lai Tuk Dong also more or less guessed it, and paid even more attention. Khan, five letters and a sign are enough for many people to pay attention, perhaps it is a terrible tycoon corporation with the symbol of two flowers intertwined in front of three mountains. Introducing more, in the current era, this Khan family is very special, five big companies seem to control all economic blood vessels, including a Khan family, and this is a modern world with LED lights everywhere and skyscrapers. One more detail, moreover, Khan is a very rare last name, and I don't know if it's a coincidence or the rules of the time-traveling world, but he in this world is also named Khan Tran. So if on the street you meet someone with the surname Khan, you will think in your heart whether the other person is Khan T's person or not, then Khan Tran's family background in this world is not average. The drones were still hovering continuously in the air, more than the number of people coming down to eat, but now they were sitting at another table, only two people per table, not the wooden table like in the morning. Tiu Tiu still hadn't finished speaking. Boss also knows about the previous incident where Khan T Group placed Lo Kuang Nia's name here, this type of thing is very easy to investigate. At that time, I still didn't understand why the other side had to arrange to bring a petty person here, what exactly did they want to do? Turns out Lo Kuang Nia is just a strong person, but in terms of thinking and influence, low type. Deep Van also remembered and said, I remember that guy Lo Kuang Nia is always attracting people, that's right, Tiu Tiu snapped his fingers again. After coming here, this Lo Kuang Nia immediately relied on the fact that he had sophisticated mechanical limbs to defeat the senior forces in the prison all the way. It turned out that he was not an average person, extremely strong and powerful. Having crushed all the previous gangsters in this prison, in just a short month, a situation of confrontation with two other factions had been formed. It turned out that everyone did not give up and pulled together and divided into three different groups. And perhaps Kuang Nia's group was the largest and most powerful, with the biggest and most famous names all under him. At that time, I felt extremely confused. Khan T brought him to unify prison number 18. Why, Tiu Tiu had such thoughts. Deep Van thinks that Khan T knows her boss is here, they have thought too much. So I always thought, is Khan T crazy or not, yet she sent a traitor to prison number 18 to work, it wasn't until today that I understood, it turned out to be Lo Kuang Nia came here to find the way for that kid Khan Tran. No matter what Khan T wants to do, Khan Tran is the real boss, Lo Kuang is just an errand boy. Although he looked down on him before, after investigating the information, Tiu Tiu also deduced more or less. And the abilities that are Khan Tran in the ordinary world can clearly possess more or less if one is Khan T. But in the end, why did they come to prison number 18? If this kid Khan Tran was really Khan T's main line, why would he come here? After Lai Tuk Dong listened, he finished drinking his bowl of soup and put the bowl down and said, Khan T, there is a possibility of having to choose the shadow of the next life, what is a shadow anyway, and at this time Tiu Tiu and Deep Van are also listening attentively. Once she understood something, Deep Van was extremely surprised. This side Tiu Tiu is no different, a shadow of the next life. Such a large financial corporation needs both an exterior and an inner lining, Lai Tuk Dong began to explain. Khan T's homeowner is the outside face, and the shadow is the inner bra, and that shadow is not very bright, on the contrary, it is extremely dark and dirty, holding great power. Is the owner of the Khan T group in the underground world, except for the homeowner, no one can control it. In fact, all great things have an extremely strong foundation, but the process of selecting the shadow of each generation is extremely cruel. It's no different from raising goo worms, and goo worms are evil magic made from 100 different types of poisonous insects. It seems that the ordeal they have to go through is as harsh as deadly poison. Looks like Khan T wants to disturb everyone again, not letting everyone rest in peace. In the middle of speaking, a prisoner boldly walks by, and immediately received Deep Van's murderous gaze. 
Even though he had no machines in his body, everyone was extremely scared as if he had other powers. Boss, even if this Khan Tran is a candidate for the shadow position, there's no need to handle the background of his identity so cleanly, it looks like he has no relationship with Khan T at all, that's true. One thing that was quite confusing and curious was that they sat and talked for quite a while, so much so that the cat, who could lie still for a long time, had to get up and stretch his body. Unless in Khan Tran's world there is a bigger secret hidden, indeed Tiu Tiu, the guess is not the right one, Lai Tuk Dong stroked the cat in response, hearing him say so, suddenly I feel like he's the same person, I'm even more interested in this boy Khan Tran, go test his personality. Seeing that, Tiu Tiu also froze. Who and what does that kid look like that my boss cares about so much? Boss, do you value him? But he is Khan T's person. I only asked him to go and explore, but I didn't say he would do anything. Besides, when did the cat jump into Lai Tuk's lap? Dong let him caress his chin, and of course he couldn't let Tiu Tiu be offended by this new person, so he said so. Wouldn't it be more interesting to take someone from Khan T? Lai Tuk Dong seems to want to play this game, but I feel that he and we are not on the same path. Upon hearing this, readers will feel extremely curious about the path they will take, which path it will be, and whether Khan Tran will join. Then what will happen? In an organization, every type of person must have one. Although he did not want to offend Tiu Tiu, Lai Tuk Dong clearly liked Khan Tran very much, and Tiu Tiu realized this. The tiger guarding the mountain, the first type of person mentioned, is probably also an important and indispensable part. From a distance, is it possible that Lai Tuk Dong was referring to Khan Tran, who had great reasoning skills and abilities that he had previously shown off. The good fighting wolf, none other than Deep Van, is extremely talented in strength and fighting ability. Sharp reporter, and loyal dog, are other roles that an organization also needs in Lai Tuk Dong's opinion, each has its own responsibility. Hearing that, Tiu Tiu was both curious and happy, guessing that his title and position must be important and asked his boss, what am I in the organization? But I don't know if Lai Tuk Dong was joking or telling the truth. He thought Tiu Tiu was a lazy fish or a shit stick, which made him dumbfounded after imagining things, but surely everyone knows that he is an indispensable part. Wow, a loud scream came from behind Lam Tiu Tiu, making him and Lai Hu Dong both look in surprise. That prisoner was thrown to the ground and dragged quite a distance. It's a robot that seems to be the prison's order manager, its hands emit purple light, that's electricity, it says, please stand in your own positions, based on the floor of the room. In your prison, the disobedient prisoners were forced to lie down on the ground. They said it was only true once in the morning. How can I remember? And the prisoners who were eating in peace next to them laughed happily. Every time they saw someone else being electrocuted because they couldn't remember their location, it was very interesting, ha, huh, that's right. They were still electrocuted by the robot crying silently behind Khan Tran, funny, the person playing chess this morning, after the chaotic situation in the morning, it still remembered its position. Is this the one who played chess this morning? Anyone else? Suddenly, an arm was placed on Khan Tran's shoulder, making him startled. But that was Lam Tiu Tiu's arm. He put his arm around Khan Tran's shoulder and walked away from the long line. Lam Tiu Tiu smiled and said, From now on you don't have to line up with them anymore, the person whose boss plays chess still has to line up, right? Khan Tran looked around, the prison guard robot did not react at all, which was not surprising, because the identities of the three of them could be very special. Lam Tiu Tiu gently touched the shoulder of a person wearing iron armor nearby. He turned his head, angrily making an annoyed face, hmm, what? As soon as he saw the two of them, Lam Tiu Tiu and Khan Tran, he immediately felt startled and scared. As expected, they had become prisoners with a bit more authority. Lam Tiu Tiu also immediately signaled him to come next. After, he immediately followed suit with a very enthusiastic attitude, even pushing the leader aside to ask the two of them to come in, please. All the prisoners saw that Khan Tran had gained more power even though he was just a new soldier. The whole prison was incensed by Khan Tran's actions. After that, he immediately sat at the same table to eat with Lai Hu Dong. Lam Tiu Tiu sitting next to him is calm as usual, don't be surprised, people who can play chess with the boss, of course there will be special treatment, eat quickly, even though the food is in prison number 18 this is not very delicious. Khan Tran was still very wary of Lai Hu Dong at this time, his eyes never left him for a second. He stared at his calm appearance while eating rice. Khan Tran reviewed the situation outside and felt it was really not good, but he still continued his meal there. At exactly 8.40 pm, the warden robot announced to return to the cell in an orderly manner, and all other prisoners immediately followed suit. Everyone had returned to their cells, the warden robot's announcement still echoed there, 
until only Khan Tran walked in the hallway. He turned on the faucet, water poured out from the faucet. He started washing his face, washing away today's surprise. Then he looked intently at the mirror with a puzzled expression. Early in the morning, Lai Hu Dong simply agreed to play chess with him. Why did his attitude towards him change so much this morning? Because of my status in this world. He looked closely at his own face in the mirror, seemingly very serious. The faucet had stopped running, he turned it off, leaving only a few drops of water that hadn't yet fallen. The water in the sink suddenly took on a strange shape. Before the last drop of water fell, it merged with the clear water stream of its fellow human beings. Suddenly Khan Tran woke up, he didn't know what happened. When he woke up, he was next to a blazing fire, with a pair of long decorative horns above. Behind him he began to hear strange sounds, it was a quite scary scene. Khan Tran slowly turned back, he saw a messy space, a broken wall painting, half of a dress hanging there. But what he paid the most attention to was the broken teddy bear lying there with a bloody knife attached to its chest. Just seeing it made him quite startled, and it was such a dark space, the light only came from the fireplace, and outside was a stormy night, suddenly lightning struck. One in the sky, through the window appeared a red line in blood on the wall next to the stabbed teddy bear, and it was written in blood. Khan Tran also immediately regained his composure, the light from the moon's reflection peeked through the window, another doll appeared on the roof of the building, it was hanging, he had to really calm down. Today, my body should be in a prison cell. He looked up at the knife on the teddy bear, reflecting the reality that he was sleeping on the cell mattress, this was probably a nightmare. Suddenly there was a constant knocking on the door, even a calm person like him was startled and scared, the space here was so dark. Someone, outside is a familiar voice, this is the police, number 27149, you told the police, right? Please open the door. Indeed, this voice is very familiar, why can't I remember who it is? It's strange, is there something wrong with my memory? Khan Tran had a strange feeling, not understanding what was going on here. He looked at the door handle, finally chose to open it, in front of him was a policeman, he had a gun on his back. In his hand was a notebook recording something. He had bright red eyes, looking at Khan Tran in a very mysterious way. Khan Tran also looked at him, he looked very familiar but was temporarily unrecognizable. Suddenly the cry that started here was heard again up the stairs. Khan Tran suddenly turned his head, he was quite curious about that. But the policeman clings to your shoulder, the one who reported the crime, please stay in your original position, lock the door. Having finished speaking, he looked at Khan Tran with very confident eyes. The policeman began to move to where the noise came from. Khan Tran slowly closed the door, but suddenly there was a knock on the door, startling him a bit. Who are you? This is the police, number 27194. You called the police, right? Please open the door. This is so strange, number 27194, hasn't he already gone up the stairs, so the person outside the door. Who is it? Hello, open the door, the creepy voice is coming from right behind the door. That voice rang out right behind Contran, guess who I am? Try to guess whether the inside is real or the outside is real, or it's not real at all, huh? So many voices echo in my ears. Which one do you choose? Khan Tran looked down at nothing, not saying a word, no one knew what he was thinking. He gradually ignored those words and walked away. Go to the knife stuck in the teddy bear's chest, try to reach for it. But when he almost touched it, suddenly a purple light appeared, surrounding the knife, making Khan Tran unable to touch it. He was also very surprised, someone didn't want him to hold a knife. He wanted to lock himself here, but nothing could stop him. He used all his strength to reach for the knife. That ghostly voice began to echo in Khan Tran's head again. What is this department doing? Don't you open the door to let the police in first? He looked at the countdown timer on his hand, it was still running, his heart and blood were still flowing. The music she had read all her life seemed like she already had no way back, he looked at the knife with determined eyes that he would definitely get it. Go away, just like that, he used his will to overwhelm the circle that covered the knife, go away. The space surrounding the knife began to crumble, he pulled the knife out of the stuffed animal's body. With the knife in his hand, he whispered to the person outside, open the door, wait until I finish this and then I will open. A series of white question marks appearing on the red board gradually appeared, like a programming system, he thought, when all obstacles are removed, it will be when he remembers everything. He gradually realized his situation, the policeman who came in first was Lam Tiu Tiu, now he and I are still in the dream that he created. Khan Tran had already followed up the stairs, in front of him was a pile of rubble, Lam Tiu Tiu observed, I followed the boss's request, went to explore this Khan Tran, so I intentionally created so an enchantment to test his ability to resist and courage, it is called, double kneeling predicament. Lam Tiu Tiu observed Khan Tran's every move from afar. 
He did not expect that this group could calmly and maliciously act when faced with such danger. Without any fear, without any intention of resisting. I feel like he's very calm, but he's only 17 years old, and I clearly stopped him from getting a knife, so how could he escape the control of the dream? This is my playground, right? Lam Tiu Tiu, the call rang out very loudly from Khan Tran who was walking around there holding a knife. Lam Tiu Tiu didn't expect to be exposed so quickly. He immediately walked out and scratched his head. It was strange. He was still in a nightmare and could still maintain his sanity. The boss's eyes were so unique. Yes, you are truly superior to others. Khan Tran just calmly replied, why did you do that? It seems like I didn't offend you, right? Lam Tiu Tiu sat down, took off his police hat, because the boss values you very much, so I have to know what kind of person you are, but now, nightmares have no effect on you. There you are. Khan Tran turned his head and looked around carefully and asked, is this your special ability? Just like you have the ability to remember once you see it, I also have my ability, this is nothing to hide. Khan Tran thought to himself, in a world where mechanics and mysticism coexist, the eight people who have the same special status in this prison must have this special ability. For a long time, Lam Tiu Tiu had been suspicious because his last name was Khan, so he immediately asked directly, are you a member of Khan T group? But Khan Tran is always good at handling such situations. He immediately asked again, is it because he doubts my identity that he gives me this special treatment? So why don't the robot police manage you guys? Lam Tiu Tiu answered naturally, of course, because our boss is very special, you don't need to change the subject, explain your identity clearly. Lam Tiu Tiu continued, I had the money to order a camera to record the conversation between you and Lo Kuang Nia last night. He was the person Khan T arranged to come in and urgently wanted to make friends with you, so I'm sure. I'm sure you're a member of Khan T. Khan Tran sat on a nearby chair and said, if you are sure that I am Khan T's person, why do you need to help me? He thought to himself, if the other person already knows his identity, but still wants to talk, then it means he has something to ask for help, there's no need to be so nervous. Lam Tiu Tiu replied, our organization does not care about background, as long as we have the same ambition, we can join. But he added, however, one must be qualified. Khan Tram said, you want to recruit me, so what is your role in your organization? Lam Tiu Tiu quickly stood up, I didn't tell you that you were qualified. To be honest, I don't think you and we are on the same page. But the boss said, an organization must have all kinds of people, people who can see far, tigers who attack mountains. Good fighting wolf, everyone has their own strengths, Lam Tiu Tiu put his hands in his pockets, stood up and looked at Khan Tran sitting there, looking mysterious, what about me, guess what? Khan Tran just thinks much simpler, a person pretending to be mysterious, recruiting others, a production donkey, right? Lam Tiu Tiu was speechless with this uncaring answer, so he became bolder. Khan T arranged for Kuang Nia to come in so loudly, and then let you in. What do you guys want to do, or are you saying you want to find something? But Khan Tran didn't know what the situation was. He thought to himself, well, shouldn't I go find the cause and effect to clarify the cause and effect? He said, I have to ask about this. It's Lo Kuang Nia. It seems that this answer Lam Tiu Tiu did not like very much, his face changed significantly, didn't say anything, suddenly there seemed to be a commotion inside the dream he created. The whole space seemed distorted, only Lam Tiu Tiu's words echoed forever, it's okay if I don't want to say anything, sooner or later I'll know. Go to bed early, you have to go play chess with the boss tomorrow. Returning to the sink with drops of water still standing on the faucet, water still flowing down drop by drop, destroying the stillness of the water. Khan Tran gradually opened his eyes, in front of him was the ceiling, but it was a bit bright after a long night of waking up. He felt quite tired after waking up from his dream, looking at the time stamp on his arm showing that it was almost 9 o'clock in the evening. Early the next morning, when there was still no prisoner in the prison hall, Lai Hu Dong was engrossed in continuing to play chess alone, in front of him was Lam Tiu Tiu recounting yesterday's incident, guess what? He used a knife to kill a person. This killing was too serious. He pointed strongly at the table, looking very upset. Deep Van stood behind and said, I told you not to play too much, it's easy for normal people to fall on their knees when they're in trouble. Lam Tiu Tiu argued for his outrageous behavior, don't worry, I won't approach him again, and he doesn't know. Finding that kid can help him escape the control of the dream, Lai Hu Dong. I'm quite surprised, a normal person can escape the control of a dream, it's really a bit special, maybe it's because of his strong consciousness. Lam Tiu Tiu scratched his head, it seemed like he still couldn't like Khan Tran, so he advised him to stop, boss, I still advise you to think again, that boy Khan Tran, his murderous aura is very strong, not common. 
Where is the way with us? Crap, Lai Hudong's solo Chinese chess game seems to have come to an end. Because of this cause, we have lost so many compatriots, even the three of you and I are locked up here, so, Tiu Tiu, you need to understand that we cannot treat people gently. The darkness is. Must use fire, that look is like his helplessness, he will take advantage of every fire that can burn to light up the dark night, illuminating the way for the entire organization. It's time for breakfast, a melodious song appears throughout the dungeon to announce. That song also passed through Khan Tran's ears. As soon as he heard it, he felt a bit familiar. Nguai Din, Ko Dao Bian, I have heard this song once on earth, why is there this farewell song, could this be the future of the earth? Another new day comes, there will still be people who cannot remember their location and will be electrocuted by robot guards. Khan Tran still gently walked back to his assigned seat. Lam Tiu Tiu saw Khan Tran coming here and didn't know what to say. Lai Hu Dong closed his eyes and stroked his cat. Lam Tiu Tiu immediately said cheerfully, Good morning, remember, couldn't sleep last night. Khan Tran didn't answer but his heart was more honest, You still don't know if I can sleep or not, that's a nightmare of yours. You locked me up for two hours straight. Lai Hu Dong spoke up, after normal people escape from nightmares, their vitality will be damaged and their spirits will not be uplifted. But he is very special. Not only did he escape from Tiu Tiu's nightmare, he was able to get a knife, but that day he was very special. Now I can still stand here, very well. Khan Tran wondered how to have the same ability as him. Lai Hu Dong just smiled, you are very straightforward, you just can't follow his path. But very suitable to follow my path, Lai Hu Dong looked at Khan Tran with quite confident eyes, Deep Van standing behind was quite surprised by his words. Khan Tran is also very curious about Lai Hu Dong's path, even Lam Tiu Tiu is jealous of that path. What kind of person is Lai Tiu Si Dong, what kind of influence does he have on this world? I don't understand anything. If I asked him directly, he would be exposed as a time traveler, so I should say it a little less. Wait a minute, how can I go your way? Lai Hu Dong began to explain, don't misunderstand, Deep Van and Lam Tiu Tiu were because by the time they met me it was too late, so they couldn't go my way, but I've been very appreciative of him. But still not enough. He's happy again. Why are you still playing chess today? The most important thing you do in chess is to play against your opponent Kai Feng. If I win while you're not in good spirits, then it's okay. What's interesting, I see you're not in good spirits, maybe you should rest for a day. Everyone in the back is talking again, yo, there's another good show to watch. Khan Tran stood up and affirmed that there was no need, his chess game was for you to solve the imperial court's chaos. He calmly answered, because when he stood up, the results were already there, the second rook bin 5, the fifth rook tn that, the second cannon ping the bowl, the fifth rook bin luke, bin quad advanced first, checkmate. Lai Hu Dong felt very wise, he had a very serious look on his face, he used the red cart to lure his black generals into battle, corresponding to that most advanced soldier's step, creating a deadly stance, indeed. It's so interesting that it's hard for ordinary people to think of. He immediately picked up a chess piece and played it until the end, accepting this loss. But the mood was still very happy, I thought he was not in good spirits, even if I won, it would be too much to worry about. I didn't expect that I was thinking too much. Everyone started talking again, because he knocked down the champion again, is it true or not, he won again, how is that possible, so cool. Everyone around thought to themselves, no matter what they won, as long as they beat Lai Hu Dong once, this life is considered worthy. When Lo Kuang Nia saw that, he was immediately interested. I also wanted to learn Chinese chess, and the juniors next to me saw that the big brother seemed to be too involved. What nonsense are you talking about? Khan Tran silently looked at everyone standing bewildered but full of admiration. Can I ask you something, Lai Hu Dong is also very enthusiastic, consider it a prize for winning just now, okay, did you play the guitar just now? Lam Tiu Tiu was surprised by such a question. I thought he was going to take this opportunity to ask something, but instead he only asked about this piece of music. Lai Hu Dong happily replied, it was me who played it, this is the first time I heard Lu Lut, it's a song by the founder of our organization, the lyrics were also written by him. I guess your founder is also an earthling, and is also a shameless person, stealing other people's lyrics and claiming them as his own. Lai Hu Dong and the others were founded a long time ago. I don't know when that senior traveled from time to time, but he just said, very good, can you give me a complete copy, Lai Hu Dong silently looked at Khan Tran, without saying a word. He closed his eyes and softly said, maybe, it's just that the lyrics of this song are not very complete, something will be lost over time. And so, he began to perform music in front of all the prisoners, the foreign court, the ancient director. 
everyone attentively enjoyed the music that Lai Hudong sang. It was like a breath of fresh air for the whole prison number 18. The sound sounds so pleasant, but only Khan Tran knows that this melody comes from the earth. After singing, he immediately explained, farewell and eternal life, this sentence was added by later generations. It is said that it was not like that in the past. It's just that no matter how much more is added, something is still missing, something is missing, Khan Tran sat quietly and pondered. He stood up suddenly, as if he had another idea, he said, how about changing it to Qi Jiao and selling Lin Lak? Knowing and selling spiritual joy, just repeating that song, Lai Hu Dong was awakened and enlightened to a new performing art. He was quite happy, thank you, this sentence is very good, as if its original friend was supposed to be like that, I heard that the founder of that organization is a very good person at writing poetry, every poem they are all classics passed down to future generations, but they were lost in the last century, now only two remain. So what is the name of the other song? Khan Tran was very curious and asked, Lai Hu Dong also replied that it was canon. It's just that this song only has the name left. The seniors have put the relics back but can't find the lyrics. Khan Tran thought to himself, it seems like the founder of their organization is a time traveler, if so. People who travel through time, then the canon song that Lai Hu Dong mentioned, must be Pachelby's canon in D, if I give the lyrics to Lai Hu Dong, with his worship of that predecessor, will it be true? Can it be exchanged for the path to transcend the mundane? No, wait a little longer, this matter needs to be carefully considered. After the meal ended, Lai Hu Dong left. Only Khan Tran was left sitting alone. He put his hand on his chin and said coldly, there's no need to be so careful. Lai Hu Dong already knows about the relationship between me and you, moreover he doesn't care at all, also, I need to rest now, you go do your work, don't bother me. Khan Tran was talking to Lo Kuang Nia, who was standing behind him, not daring to come out. Finally, he showed his face and smiled happily. I only said a few words. I won't bother you, boss, I thought. It's been a long time but I still don't know what to call you. Or just call me boss for convenience. I guess I've heard Khan Gan mention me before. I've had a miserable life since I was little, being bullied by my father. Give it to someone else in exchange for money, then replace it with another agency for me. He continued to talk nonsense around Khan Tran's ear. Then I heard Khan Gan say that this time it was because you named me to go with you. It was said that the day was aimed at my ability, I'm so happy. If I die, you can rest assured, this time I. Lo Kuang Nia, will definitely climb the high mountain and descend into the sea of fire. I will not refuse. Even if I die for you, it is nothing. It's just that before I die, I still have one thing left. Going to prayer, you know, I didn't learn anything. But I admire cultured people, I just listen but don't understand what he's saying. Khan Tran also vaguely guessed the purpose of him talking so much, apparently he wanted to learn Chinese chess, but why did he want to learn Chinese chess? Lo Kuang Nia began to imagine his majestic appearance when playing chess, so he did not hesitate, because that's cool, boss, even someone like Lai Hu Dong is a general under your command, can't he not be cool? Star. Khan Tran thought it was incomprehensible, winning a game of chess was a big deal, he bluntly announced, of course, he couldn't fight back, if he played chess he could be proud. I didn't expect that after the boss here, he would be able to make friends with Lai Hu Dong and live in such harmony. With his position in prison number 18, he might know what we know. Where do we need to be? Moreover, if one day he gets his inheritance, then it will be more and more certain that in the contest to win the photo, Khan Tran now seems to understand the situation clearly, it seems that Lai Hu Dong's fighting power is very high. So the purpose of coming to this prison was to find things. Khan Tran happily accepted, okay, I will teach you to play chess, but can you stay away from me for a bit, he was also happy, okay. In your cell, countdown, five minutes. Khan Tran drew a few lines up in the room, these two days were like a dream. I got to know a few people and understand a little about this different world. Not knowing if he could still come back, he pinched his arm painfully, already leaving a red mark. The countdown is no more, it's counting down. Khan Tran is also mentally and spiritually prepared, 54321. All the memories were shattered into pieces again, Khan Tran continued his trip, retracting the memory barriers, all the surrounding space was shattered, Khan Tran still remembered everything happened afterward. He returned to his room again, in his hand still holding the knife he had prepared before time travel, he picked up his phone on the table, the clock was exactly 12 o'clock. The second hand has just turned to a new day, it's still the day that I'm through. I was in that world for two days straight, and only one second passed from the earth. Waiting for the time to return again, 
it only took a second, isn't this the rule for everyone in the air? That's good, there's no need to explain to others why I keep disappearing, the wound on your hand before returning is still there. Perhaps his body then and now are one, meaning that death is the end, and he will not be able to return to his time-traveling state. On his right arm, a 48-hour countdown was once again displayed. Suddenly the phone rang. Khan Tran slowly answered the phone, Hello, I'm calling from the police station in Vong Tan, I'm calling you because your father was arrested for organizing gambling, I'm sorry. Come here once. Khan Tran calmly replied, What am I doing there? According to the administrative sanctions code, he must be detained and fined, please come to complete the procedure. Khan Tran is still very calm and calm. To you, this is probably just a daily matter. I'm sorry, I'm not going anywhere, you guys just punish him severely. Pursuant to the law on administrative sanctions, if it is serious, he can be detained for 10 to 15 days and must pay a fine of 500 to 3000 renminbi. Please apply the highest penalty to him. Thank you. Of course, the police had yelled at him so many times that he knew the fine by heart. I'm the one who reported the crime, I'm not his son, I'm just a good citizen. The policewoman on the other end of the phone was speechless after listening, not knowing what the world was like out there. Khan Tran gently placed the knife on the table, lay down on the bed, looking very tired, duh. He was lying on the bed alone, as if his body was still there, his mind had gone through two quite long days, making his body a bit tired. He stared at the phone in his hand. No matter how long he looked, no matter how long he waited, there was still no contact from his mother. His eyes looked a bit sad. He lay alone on a very empty bed, unable to help but think that life here is so boring, it would be nice if he could return to that world sooner. The next morning, Khan Tran was on his way to school, he was recording Canon's lyrics, giving this to Lai Hu Dong required explaining their background, doing so was a bit risky, so before giving it to him, I have to determine if Lai Hu Dong has any value, he finally went to class. Khan Tran walked in and sat in his seat. At that moment, a student also hurried over. Khan Tran called back loudly, Nam Khan Than, yesterday Mr. Du saw me in class and still talking, he was startled, huh, what did you say? Khan Tran turned over the book in his hand, nothing, why do I see you so stressed, Nam Khan Than is sweating nervously, stressed, it's nothing. Khan Tran continued to turn the pages of the book in her hands, the two were classmates and sat next to each other. They sat for a long time before Nam Khan then decided, Khan Tran, Khan then hesitantly said, if he hadn't encountered something strange, what would he have done? After hearing this, Khan Tran quickly turned the pages of the book on his desk. It seemed like something was wrong with him, but Khan Tran still kept calm and asked again, strange, what specifically? Nam Khan then looks quite worried, I don't know what's going on, in short, it's a very strange thing. Then reported to the police, I didn't expect Kang Tran to say that, but that sentence is exactly what Ken then meant, yes, reported to the police, Khan Tran, do you have a family member who works at the police station? Khan Tran seriously replied, yes, last night my father was arrested for organizing gambling. Truly, there was nothing he could say to this Mr. Khan Tran. Ken then was really speechless. His father was still trying to defend himself to the police over there, but when he heard it, the strange thing that Nam Khan then said, could it be that a countdown timer appeared on his arm, other people didn't see the countdown timer, suddenly there were loud screams from nearby classmates, guys. Look at the hot search. American basketball superstar Taylor just gave an interview, saying he traveled to a civilized world full of robots. Khan Tran heard it and was quite surprised. Even foreigners can travel through time and countdown timers. Superstar Taylor in the US actually gave an interview, but rather a live stream on television. His arm was a mechanical arm, which made a 100% accurate throw and put the ball into the basket. But not only that, the 10 consecutive shots he performed were all absolutely accurate, Khan Tran and Nam Khan then were quite amazed, was this edited or was it filming an advertisement and using effects? Suddenly Taylor in the notification screen, yesterday evening I was very surprised to discover a countdown timer appearing on my hand. When the countdown ended, I was transported to a strange, civilized robot world. That place was also the Earth, with a sun and a moon, but it seemed to be a parallel universe with the Earth. That level of civilization is completely different from the world we live in. He raised that mechanical arm. When I traveled there, I already owned this arm, as if I had replaced someone there, becoming a completely new person. I don't know what the reason is, but their strength is beyond my imagination, and they are very flexible and accurate, I can stand up here and throw them 10 times in a row, or even all of them. 100 Fruits I want to hold this press conference not to brag to you, that world is not as good as everyone thinks, but is extremely dangerous. 
I held a press conference because I wanted to avoid being secretly experimented on. I wanted to say that I refuse to be a research subject. If one day I go missing, I hope you guys, that performance provided Contran with quite a bit of information. Taylor is a notary, so it's impossible to hide the fact that my best friend has an armored body. He knew very clearly that the technology in that world was far superior to this world's, so he was afraid that he would become a guinea pig being experimented on, so he chose such a hasty method. But that's not necessarily a good way, maybe because he was very scared, that's why he made such a quick decision, I don't know where Taylor has traveled to, along the ocean. I can't bring the dagger there, and I can't bring the toothbrush back, see if there's a way to bring things back from there. Is it a body transformation or hidden somewhere in the body? On the bulletin boards of major journalists, there is constantly information about time travel, a student claims to have traveled to another world, that person has robots and there are supernatural people, a high school student said that I traveled to another world and awakened my powers. Khan Tran and Nam Khan then read the news together. Nam Khan then already couldn't believe his eyes anymore, supernatural people, robot civilization, could it be that after traveling there, he would have a chance to become human? Frequently, everyone in the class was talking to each other. I saw a lot of people traveling through space. Does our school also have people traveling through space? I also want to travel through space. Maybe there will be someone with an armored unit, so what? Nam Khan then looked at his friends talking and his face darkened. Khan Tran also asked, what was this strange thing you mentioned just now, and now you still can't tell, but don't worry. Nam Khan then smiled very confidently, if I have any chance, I will definitely not forget my brother, you. Khan Tran saw that he was quite happy and fearless again like before, so he felt relieved, yes, don't forget each other even if you're rich, just now you were scared, now you're the master of the world. Khan Tran looked at Nam Khan's face, which became cheerful again like before, and felt quite happy, it was okay for him to be happy. Nam Khan then is starting to look more like a student again, I suppose, if I can travel there, then can I bring some high-tech stuff back here to sell, Khan Tran quietly said, I don't know, maybe it's not possible. This Nam Khan then keeps talking back and forth, he looks like he's smiling mischievously, he leans close to Khan Tran's ear, I see that they can bring back the armored arm, don't worry, when I'm rich I'll invite you. Let's go eat. Khan Tran reminded, you see, many people will be in danger, so you also have to be a little careful, thinking about getting rich all day long. After finishing speaking, Nam Khan then also fell into thought, but in the end he still did not listen to that reminder, where did he want to go to eat? At the table above, there was a guy who was also angry, what is the rule about traveling through space? So many people have traveled through time, why haven't we traveled through space yet? Nam Khan then's expression turned serious again, it's possible that only those with exceptional natural talent can't cross over, right? Khan Tran was searching for time travel movies, he thought, now he can summarize two points. One is that the last countdown time was 6 hours, the return time was 48 hours, which means the time everyone traveled was the same, the return time was also the same. After that, Someone who knew what was going on spoke up and clarified that he had never traveled through time. At times, oh, today the countdown timer appeared on his arm. This is really a group of people who traveled through time on Monday. Second, the people who cross over are all young people, currently all from 10 to 35 years old. Nam Khan then was not the group of people at 12 o'clock yesterday, but the group of people who appeared at the countdown at 0 o'clock. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been scared to see Taylor's press conference like that, neither was Khan then. I'm enthusiastically learning about it, just now someone impersonated a time traveler to gain heat, brother, this arm of yours is too fake, how can you fake it like that? Can you fake an armored arm? There are also people traveling through time on the streets of Lac Tan. In short, there are now two possibilities. One is that the number of people who travel through time is not hungry. If someone dies, there will be a new person who travels through time. Another possibility is that people who travel through time are constantly increasing and will continue to increase in the future. Nam Khan then stared intently at the time-traveling main movie in Lac Tan with Khan Tran, so cool. Time Travel School, the son of the chairman of Vin Loy Group, Huynh Tae Sin, he said, it would be great if someone in our school could travel through time, remember that we can ask about that world. That time traveler seems to be a 7th grade 10th grade student. Khan Tran immediately moved to the 7th grade 10th grade class to meet Huynh Tae Sin. The more I walked, the more clearly I felt like I was truly different. I don't know when, I felt like I was no longer the same as everyone else. Originally, I was just one of them, I just needed to study hard, try to get into a high-level university, but this is the path I will take, it seems that I am no longer here. He entered the 10th grade student class, even though he was in the upper class, he still enthusiastically addressed them as me and him. Hello, 
would you like to ask if Taesin is going to school today? No, I haven't seen him anymore. Khan Tran scratched his head, it was true, so do you know where his house is? Just when I borrowed something he forgot to bring back, the blonde guy with glasses immediately raised it, I just knew he was just at Nan Mon Central Park, I don't know the specifics. Thank you, on the surface it is like that, but you already knew that today it is impossible to become Huin Tae Sin. That's the person who was electrocuted in the cell you traveled to yesterday. He suffered great mental damage. It's possible he's gone crazy, the lesson continues as usual. Next, let's look at this problem. The teacher is still seriously teaching on the blackboard, but almost no one is in the mood to learn, they are more interested in the other world. The teacher said, now you don't pay attention to the teacher's lecture, it seems like you have to get some armored arm so that you can listen to him, math teacher Dain Hai Long. Today, I came here to finish school, and as soon as I finished, Nam Kan then held out his phone and Ha Tiu Tiu had just posted a new strategy. Being an uploader in a game is considered a master in the gaming industry. A few hours ago he just posted a new game strategy video, but everyone has never heard of the game he talked about, yet he can seriously sit down and strategize, now that time travel is happening, everyone has realized that the game he posted is related to that other world. He is also one of the people who travel through time, on the display screen, because this game is quite special, so I can't record a video of the game. I call the world we are in the outside world, and this game is the inside world. As for this game, I just got into it, so for now I haven't discovered how to get the invisible job. For now, I already have the career path, there are three types. One is to take advantage of high technology to improve yourself, by going to armored hospitals to buy. Armor parts are quite expensive, because I haven't found the monetization bug yet, so I've never tried this method. The fastest way to make money here is to sell organs, but I encourage everyone not to try. This way. The second way is to join the Taboo Arbitration Association, be able to infuse the gene medicine, and then become a new humanity, but so far I have not found any NPC of any organization related to it, because the organization is quite godlike. Squash. The third way is the pre-karma path in prison number 18. Everyone needs to go there and find a person named Lai Hyudong. This is the pre-karma path with the highest potential right now. Khan Tran was also surprised to hear this, Taylor was just the only option, and you were the career path with the most potential at hand. This is treating another world as a game. Lai Hyudong also becomes one of those characters. Wait until I travel there, will someone ask if I run to number 18 and look for Lai Hyudong? Lai Hyudong is also quite famous in the inner world, so much so that Ha Tiu Tiu already knew about him within 48 hours of going there. Nam Kan then next to him looked bored, said as much as he didn't, bought the equipment part. Armor requires money, the Taboo Referee Association can't be found, and it's unlikely that you'll be able to find prison number 18, so how can you get in? Space travel stories have been causing noise in schools for quite some time, so when new news appeared in the afternoon, it felt like a dark cloud was covering everyone's enthusiasm. A young male student confirmed to be a time traveler was killed at home. The video shows the armored legs being cut off without knowing whereabouts. Blood and gore soon covered the whole room. Right after that, Many people revealed their time-traveling identities just because of a hot search and were very scared. A group of people brought back their armor parts, fearing they would be killed. After the media received the news, someone made a prediction that perhaps by killing a time traveler, you can replace that person in time travel many times in the future. Nam Khan then seemed very worried and afraid that he didn't look very well after reading that news. Khan Tran immediately reminded you that you have finished reading the news, I said what if, if you were to travel there, remember to be careful, don't talk nonsense. Looking at Nam Kan's eyes, he was completely lost. It was difficult to find a way to change his destiny. Why did he suddenly turn into such a terrifying toy? Can you tell me why the two of us are so poor? When someone else's father is risking his life to make money, your father is making money. So what about your father? Nam Kan then was angry. But Khan Tran calmly continued, when other people's fathers were risking their friends to make money, your father was making money, my father was risking his life to play cards. After hearing this, Ken then turned to stone. Why did you go to the police station? Khan Tran quietly replied, I reported the case, I hope he can be there to reflect on himself, after hearing that, Nam Khan then was also scared to death, with Khan Tran's decisiveness. Nam Khan then's eyes were no longer as sad as before, he continued to use his innocent eyes to cheerfully ask for help, or you should also denounce my father. The class bell rang from the loudspeaker mounted on the wall. The teacher quickly entered the classroom to stabilize the class, then asked the students to open the chart on the second page. Khan Tran was now sitting at the back of the class, secretly watch phone. The information was like autumn leaves falling in droves. 
He closed his eyes to concentrate, having to analyze too many things, it was a bit unbearable. Khan Tran is surrounded by a lot of new information. Today, the time travelers discovered seem to have been divided before, concentrated in more than 10 cities, which means, those time travelers are gathered in large numbers in the same place. Soon it was time for recess. Nam Khan then was cleaning the toilet. Seeing Khan Tran rush out of class, he could only click his tongue. This kid skipped class again. Khan Tran is like a superhero running like flying and jumping over walls. Very quickly he returned to his house, changed out of his school uniform, wearing a different outfit that didn't stand out too much, along with a low-cut hat, he looked at his phone while walking down the street. Looking at the location on the phone, Khan Tran thought to himself, he wanted to see what happened after the ferry returned, what happened in that world, even though he didn't know. The specific location is which building in which row. It's impossible to not train, you must have a strong body and soul to be able to face this world full of dangers. Just follow him, he's running furiously on the street, and maybe it's because he's in a different mood. The shackles that family and living conditions once brought to Khan Tran are slowly being unlocked. Dusk fell, it soon became dark, in a skyscraper on the street. Khan Tran stood behind, watching someone scan a card to enter the gate, silently exclaiming, as expected of a high-end neighborhood, everyone had a card to enter and exit, not knowing if the back door needed a card to be scanned. Thinking so, he quickly turned around towards the back door of the building. Suddenly he heard someone mumbling, prison, machines. Monster, monster, the person making that sound was being held tightly by two men. Khan Tran quickly recognized him, this was Hong Tae Tien. Khan Tran quickly hid to one side behind a nearby tree, watching Hong Tae Tien being escorted to the car. And at that moment, there was also a look staring at him. A person in the car noticed Khan Tran, but at this moment he only saw him scrolling through his phone. Khan Tran pretended to look at her phone until the other cars drove away. At this moment, he showed a serious expression and wondered, who are they, why did they want to take Hong Tien Tien away? Is it because of his status as a time traveler? This is definitely not the case. Coincident. A few minutes later, Khan Tran left the back gate and once again mingled on the street. And a strong premonition also helped him realize that it wasn't right, someone was following him. Since I turned around and left, he has followed me five alleys, so that person has always been so vigilant. At this time, Khan Tran's steps slowed down a bit. He pretended to be calling someone to notify someone, hello, I'll be home a little late tonight, the follower was close behind him, and very naturally passed by while Khan Tran was still talking on the phone. He quickly hung up the phone, glanced slightly at the other person's figure. Arriving at a large intersection, the red light flashed for 20 seconds, Khan Tran stopped and waited for the light. Looking at the man standing next to him, he also realized, I met this person outside the gate of the boarding house, this is not a coincidence, this is stalking. What kind of mysterious organization is this, with so much training, yet so concerned about people traveling through time? Maybe I'm not the first group of people to travel through time, maybe the second group or even the third group, otherwise, let's say that today someone knows about people traveling through time, it's not enough to react. Responding so quickly, these people had already prepared in advance. I absolutely must not make a mistake, he told himself, very soon, the pedestrian crossing light turned green. At this moment, Khan Tran was quick-witted and did not cross the street with the group of people but turned alone in the opposite direction. The claw-haired follower quickly spoke over the radio, the target hasn't crossed the street yet, he's turned around, how long will it take for you to arrive, his teammate quickly replied, I won't be there in two minutes. Trackable mind. Claw hair quickly turned around to look across the street, wait. He didn't see Khan Tran anymore. He sadly said, I've lost track of him. The person on the other side smiled faintly when he heard that. He didn't lose face. Two people were following one person but they still lost him. Guess if he knew we were following him or not, Claw hair spoke up. I guess it was probably you. I already know, master. Teammate Lo Veen ran to search and said, that boy looked to be only 17 or 18 years old, maybe still in high school. If he discovered that we were really following him, he would I love you too much. Moreover, did you let Italy see, he acted very naturally, when he stopped to make a phone call, I didn't know he had discovered us, otherwise, I wouldn't have restrained him at that time. Claw hair sighed and replied, I'm very curious, but why do you suddenly want to follow him? We have many more missions today. There's no need to waste time on passers-by. Lo Veen spoke, it was not a sudden change of mind, it was just that the captain was escorting the target no no 9. I noticed him avoiding the captain's gaze, after cutting off the followers. Khan Tran quickly went to sit on the bench waiting for the bus, telling himself, just sit here for half an hour, see if the tail has been completely cut off, 
then go home. While scrolling through the news on his phone, he wondered, was this streamer also taken away by that mysterious organization? How many mysterious organizations like that are there across the country? At this time, a police car with a loud siren sped down the road, attracting Khan Tran's attention. An old man wearing glasses curiously asked, what's going on? A middle-aged woman standing next to him answered his question, was there a man in that building who often beat his wife? Previously, that wife had been beaten to the point of having to be hospitalized, what was the result? That husband still refused to change his mind, then the other wife wanted a divorce, but was beaten by that man again, he also said that if he dared to divorce, he would kill his wife's entire family. The old man continued to ask curiously, so what happened today, did that guy beat his wife again? But why does it seem like something happened to that husband? The woman nodded, you're right, Khan Tran. Standing behind, I didn't need to ask to hear her words clearly. She recounted, just now I was going to stop that guy, but finally discovered that this time it was the other wife who beat that husband. Tonight that husband came home late from drinking, and when he came back he wanted to beat his wife, as a result. As you can see, today you must have heard the news that many people have traveled through time, right? It seems like his wife is also a person who has traveled through time. At first, she refused to be beaten, didn't dare to fight back, but maybe she was beaten to the point of exploding, immediately breaking the husband's arm. The husband was taken to the car by the nurse, constantly moaning in pain. Painful. The woman sighed, she just felt sorry for that little child, she was only a few years old and had to suffer like this. A little girl was sitting huddled in front of the house, Khan Tran was now walking towards her. Seeing him, the little girl immediately raised her head, tears glistening in her eyes, chokingly called out, Kaka. Khan Tran gently stroked the girl's head, thinking to herself, it's been two years, I don't know how many times I've witnessed the mother and daughter sitting downstairs hugging each other and crying. This little girl named Lai Dong Van just runs away to her house every time her parents fight. I still remember the first time I made fried rice for her to eat. That man only needs to see his wife talking to another man and will beat her. Now his arm is broken, so he deserves it. Little girl Lai Dong Van, after crying for a while in Khan Tran's arms, now with tears in her eyes, she raised her head and called you, brother, just now my mother told me to come to your house and wait for a while, but I kept knocking on your door. I'm not at home so. Khan Tran smiled and patted the girl's head and asked, good girl, have you eaten rice? If you haven't eaten yet, I'll roast rice for you, I haven't eaten yet. At this moment, Khan Tran's expression suddenly changed as if he had just realized something. He immediately took Lai Dong Van into the house, locked the door. Then he went to the window and closed the curtain. Lai Dong Van behind him asked bewilderedly, brother, what's wrong with you? Khan Tran turned his head and smiled slightly, reassuring her, it's okay, first don't say anything. Outside the apartment, the police are still below. Khan Tran cautiously glanced at the situation. There are a few people who just appeared at this time. Looking at the two mysterious people getting down from the car, Khan Tran realized that they were the group of people with the car he met at the Central Park, coming quickly. At this moment, Lo Veen suddenly glanced cautiously. Looking towards the closed window of the house, it was Khan Tran's apartment. Claw Hair behind him wondered, what's wrong? Claw Hair pushed up his glasses and said, nothing, just looking around, it felt like someone was looking at me, but maybe it was because I was thinking too much. Okay, let's go, let's go upstairs and do the main thing. They quickly went up, not discovering Khan Tran standing behind the window curtain. He was a bit worried at the moment. If Lai Dong Van's mother was arrested, there would be trouble. His father was beaten to the point of death. Hospitalized, her mother was taken away by someone from a mysterious organization, what should she do in the future, it can't work, she can only improvise. Lai Dong Van stood behind him and looked at Khan Tran, feeling very curious. Because at this moment he was not standing at the window, but had moved to stand with his ear against the front door. Khan Tran listened and realized that there was no movement. If he was really taken away, there would have been at least a dispute or protest. Very quickly, he saw those people getting into the car and leaving through the window. He was extremely confused and thought, what's going on? Why do they just return empty-handed? Could it be that they don't want to catch people traveling through space? At that moment, someone knocked on Khan Tran's door. After opening the door, he saw a mechanical arm appear. It's Lai Dong Van's mother. She raised her hand to her head and said awkwardly, I'm too embarrassed to bother you. What Khan Tran noticed right now was her arms, the hands that gave her the strength to resist her husband. Not more than a few seconds later, Khan Tran spoke up, It's okay, I'm planning to make food for Lai Dong Van to eat, I also like her very much, the mother nodded, thank you. Then she tilted her head and called her child, Let's go, Tu Van, let's go home with mom, don't bother anyone anymore. 
Who would have thought that the little girl would avoid her grandmother's eyes, turn towards Khan Tran and say, I'm still hungry, everything in the house has been knocked down by the two of them, and when I get home there's nothing to eat, it's difficult for the mother. He called his child, Tiu Van, at this time Khan Tran reached out and patted her head and said, I just heard Tiu Van say that you two haven't eaten anything yet, how about eating dinner with me? Hearing him say that, the mother was a little surprised and thought to herself, even though this child had helped her before, she had never proactively invited anyone, and always seemed very annoyed, why today? At this time, Khan Tran's words also partly answered your question. I also really want to know a few things about time travel, so I want to ask you a little, how should I call you? Lai Dong Van's mother introduced, my name is Zhang Tuet, Khan Tran said politely, just wanted to ask Ms. Zhang Tuet a few things related to the world inside, can you say? At this moment, Zhang Tuet saw her daughter pulling her hand, expressing her desire to stay. She had no choice but to go into the house and politely say, then I'll have to bother you, there's nothing I can't say, you can always ask. Hearing her answer, Khan Tran pursed his lips and thought, how can such a weak personality survive in that aggressive world? A delicious and hearty tray of rice was quickly placed on the table by Khan Tran. Little girl Lai Dong Van ate very happily, even took the opportunity to pick it up for her mother, mother, please eat quickly. Khan Tran silently ate, looking at the family of two people in front of him. After a while, he seemed to casually ask, Auntie, I saw the police came to handle the case, what did they say? Zhang Tuet replied, the neighbors also told you everything, originally planning to take you home. Station, but considering that she still had a daughter and that it was a legitimate defense, he did not take her away. If anything happened, he could call her over. Khan Tran continued asking, I saw that there were two more people after that, we what did they come for? Zhang Tuet recounted that she was not sure what they were planning to do. They just let her fill out a form, then take a photo of her ID card and then leave. Khan Tran was a bit surprised. It was as simple as that, Zhang. Tuet nodded and continued. They said they might come to find her in the future, told her not to rush to leave Lacton, but they didn't say they were looking for her, that's right, she saw them taking her away. Gave the police some papers, then the police immediately explained the situation to the two of them. After hearing this, Khan Tran was able to confirm that it wasn't just that they were arrested when they saw people traveling through space, and they also had legitimate papers, and they weren't as crazy as they imagined. After that, he raised his head and asked another question, Okay, Ms. Zhang Tuet, what status do you have in that world, these two arms of yours? Zhang Tuet very honestly told him that she opened a machine repair shop on 18th Street in the city, actually helping people assemble armored body limbs for others, but after Ms. Xuyan stopped after going there, she didn't understand anything. Someone came to assemble armored body limbs. She could only say that there was no stock. This armored arm, when she got there, she already had it, and when she returned, she also had it. Follow you always. Hearing the familiar clue, Khan Tran immediately asked to follow up. She had seen prison number 18 in the introduction of a time traveler. Where is this place? Zhang Tuet replied, bordering the road. Number 18 in the city, that prison building is quite famous, it seems to be a place that specializes in detaining serious criminals, and is a prison with the highest guard rank in the Federation. When Khan Tran heard that, he was very surprised, what a federal system, how did Ms. Zhang Tuet know this? Zhang Tuet looked helpless, shaking her head, this, she's only been in for two days and doesn't understand anything. Lai Dong Van sat next to them and listened to the two people talking, curiously tilted his head and asked, Mom, what is the name of your repair shop? Zhang Tuet answered daughter, the name is Zhang Tuet Armor Body Repair Shop, I asked what is this for? Lai Dong Van seemed to casually continue eating, telling his mother, I'm just asking. At this time, Zhang Tuet turned to ask Khan Tran, Khan Tran, why are you so curious about that world? Khan Tran immediately expressed admiration and said, I also want to travel there to see what it's like, I'm also very interested. I admire these people who travel through time. Hearing that, Zhang Tuet sincerely advised him, that world is very dangerous, except for the people of Lai Ti, Khan Ti, Tran Ti, Ben Nai, and the Lok Dao group, everyone else lives in the deep sea. Fire, it's not as good as living in this outside world. Khan Tran didn't say anything when he heard that. He was afraid that even if he didn't want to, he would have been chosen to travel. After finishing the meal, Zhang Tuet used her mechanical hands to clean the table. Let me come and clean it for you. Khan Tran stood next to her, in charge of arranging the dishes, and casually asked her, do you have any plans for the future? Zhang Tuet's hand immediately stopped for a beat. She honestly said that she wanted to take Tiu Van to her grandmother's house in Tran Tan for a few days, then leave tomorrow. 
then returned to divorce her father. Khan Tran nodded and told her, then buy tickets in advance. Every day there are many people going to Tran Tan, buying tickets is not easy. Zhang Tuet heard that and was convinced, that's right. After taking out her phone to buy tickets, Zhang Tuet quickly realized why she couldn't buy tickets. Khan Tran standing next to him was not too surprised, thinking to himself, that's true, a verbal warning is just a verbal warning, in fact it is already a limited action. Khan Tran was cleaning and paying attention to the movements there, so she knew, after not being able to buy a train ticket, Zhang Tuet tried to buy a few more times, but the result was still the same, still unable to buy a ticket. That mysterious organization has eyes and ears everywhere, I don't want to be limited to this city, so no matter what their goals are, I can't reveal my identity first. After finishing cleaning, Khan Tran had just sat down on the sofa when he heard the girl next to him speak, Brother, I have never looked straight into your mother's eyes before. Don't tell me that today I saw your mother becoming beautiful, so I took the initiative to invite your mother into the room. The girl deliberately whispered to Khan Tran, making the story very mysterious, Khan Tran was running out of words. Remind the girl. What are you talking about, don't think nonsense, who would have thought that Lai Dong Van would clasp his hands and tease me again, but your mother is really beautiful, she is also an art teacher at White Horse Elementary School. There again. At this time, Zhang Tuet on the other side picked up Khan Tran's clothes and asked, Khan Tran, I see that your house still has unwashed clothes, could you let me take it home and wash it for you? After your parents divorced, it must have been very difficult for you to live here alone. In the future, if you have dirty clothes, just bring them to my house so I can wash them for you. Khan Tran didn't want to bother anyone, so he immediately said, wait, you can wash it yourself, but Zhang Tuet quickly took his clothes and led Lai Dong Van to the door, let's go, Q Van go home. Let's go home, my brother Khan Tran still has to study. Khan Tran just watched the mother and daughter leave without having time to say anything more. That evening, the phone was in Khan Tran's hand. After reading the information on it, he thought to himself, his classmates are still discussing about people traveling through time, even tonight's matter about Zhang Tuet's family is also a topic of discussion among the people of Lak Tan. Ha Tiu Tiu's side has not yet announced new powers related to the inner world. He glanced at the screen again, thinking a little sadly, there was still no news about his mother. Who would have thought that just in time, the phone showed up with a call from my mother. Khan Tran immediately picked up the phone, hello, Yin Fuang spoke on the other side, little Tran, I have already sent living expenses to your father, Khan Tran said in a low voice, mom, I have to hand in my homework this week. Yin Fuang replied awkwardly, how how suddenly had a fever, I can't come visit you on the weekend, it's okay, go to bed early, don't neglect your studies. Khan Tran was silent for a few seconds then obediently replied as usual, yes, yes. Not bothering his mother anymore, he hung up the phone, then absentmindedly thought, she finally called me, but it seemed like she didn't remember that I skipped class. The phone was then thrown aside by Khan Tran. He lay exhausted on the bed, knowing that it was nothing, it was not 20 minutes in the morning, the countdown time was 2040. And this is how this man who ends. Well, guys, if you like this video and want a next part, comment below with the word next. Also, in the future, I'll be bringing more and more exciting videos. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, hit the like button, and stay tuned until the next video.